you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. Shout out to the outsider. I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, the, the, they can't use the nasty comments anymore because my comments have been off for two years on YouTube. So I don't care about that. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's not going it to... If anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not going to end me. So I don't care. Let them do it, right? Thank you very much, The Outsider. Nice. The thing is... If you're watching this say you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore, you know. Years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, Oh no, people making fun of me, and this is how you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay, I don't give a shit, you know. Any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I said a million times, I don't care what anyone does. Okay, we want to make a montage of Phil failing, a montage of Phil raging, whatever. One thing, again, to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make this is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. Holy shit! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. Finally. Ladies and gentlemen, finally. Death Loop. It's time. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've been ready. I've been ready for like four years for this game. So I hope you guys are ready. I've seen at least 27 different gameplay featurettes and trailers about it. I still don't know what it is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't know if you just give me a second. Interesting way to start the game. Look out, there's a black woman coming. Ah! Trying. <laughs> Ow. Oh, lady, I have no idea. Oh, shit, that's not good. Can't you just hurry up already? Ow. She takes them both out. Boom! Well, Deathloop was an interesting game. I want to thank you guys for watching my playthrough of it. It was really good and, uh, you know, a little expensive for about 25 seconds of gameplay, but, you know. What was that? The longest day, whoever I am, whatever this is, and whatever it takes, I'm out of here. The lead is tracked? Untracked lead. The longest day. Okay, explore this place. I dreamt I died. Felt about as real as this cold-ass beach, but if I'm not dead, then what the fuck am I? Boy, what is with the potty mouth? Some you know, small children might be playing this game. Oh, you can run with L3. What a shock. It says, do not go in the water. You will die. Oh, it's icy waters. Look at this. Oh, yeah? I bet most people won't do that. I wanted. I was curious. Will they let you kill yourself right off the bat? And the answer is yes. Okay then. Well, we know that we're always gonna wake up right here on the beach. I guess, right? What's up, D-Man Gaming? Good to see you, man. Okay. Juliana Blake, a bookworm, holds her liquor, iron spine, masquerade slab means she's got a million faces. Alexis Dorsey, a rich asshole, mansion on the hill is a fortress. Throws a mean party, calls his slab Carnesis, says it lets him play with his meat. Ha! <laughs> you don't even know the camera is on. You know every inch of you know every inch of my dick and balls. You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that caught it, Matt? Yes. Really? So I was actually told by someone, with no spoilers, I was told that if you put in an incorrect code in the door, that some kind of, there's, a, there's an Easter egg trophy here. I was told oh, if you put in 0451, there's an Easter egg trophy. Uh, old habits die hard. I don't know what that is. 0451? Maybe I should... Go look for this code. Yeah, I don't know what that why that's an Easter egg. I don't understand it, but you get a quick trophy. Alright. Check your map.
I don't know how you, how do you check the map. It's from Dishonored, is it? See, I don't even know. Is it? It's from Deus Ex? Is it a Deus Ex? No, people are saying it's from Dishonored. I don't know. I don't know how to see the map. How do you see the map? I don't even know. I don't have the map yet, Chef Bean. They should jump in the gun, man. I don't have it. Jeez. It's a common code used in games. I don't know. No one seems to understand what the Easter egg is. I'm sure someone will eventually tell me. But for now, I don't know what that is, but I got a trophy. So there you go. That code opens the first door in Bioshock, unlocks a supply crate in Firewatch, even grants access to VIP's office in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and many other examples. 0451. So it's just a classic code that's used in many different video games. Okay. Delirium. Plumb your own depths. I don't want to go anywhere near plumbing my own depths. You don't want to be butt-fucked. Trust me. Rhythm and news. Oh, shit. The bathroom. This is where the magic happens. Make it a beautiful place. All right. Here we go. Oh, there's some... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do you guys see this lighting issue? I don't know. I'm going to have to at least subtract two points off my final review score. That lighting in the toilet is not... They didn't finish it. Now they got lemon macaron. 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 I don't remember that meme on the internet. It was... Macaron. 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 And it had the Adam West Batman going crazy. Looked like he was all spurging out. I don't, no one remembers that? No? No one remembers that. Wow, I'm so old. I know memes you guys don't know. Wow. That's impressive, I guess. Postcard, dumbass! You wrote it on the Black Reef postcard. You understand? Okay. I'm gonna drop wait, it now. Wait, no, wait. What the fuck? Uh. Okay. The Black Reef postcard. Oh, you died. You died from the fall. <clears throat> ah, just huh. myself. What kind of fucked up world is this? Ah. <laughs> okay. Postcard. Post. Okay. Uh, drunk Call says, I see Twitch is down. No, I I'm not streaming on Twitch. Drunk Call, I'm not sure if you're aware. If you look around you here, this is YouTube. YouTube. Y O U T U B E. That's where I stream now for over three months. I'm not on Twitch, so how would I know Twitch is down or why would I give a shit? Okay. <clears throat> Candy. Here were the royals? What? Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Ice cream and traitor! What? What do we got here? Better not be cold. They interrupted the first time I pulled the trigger to give me a pop-up about stealth. Oh, shit! <laughs> they literally interrupted the first time I pulled the trigger to tell me about stealth. Oh. He says, are you better at stealth or driving? Uh, sadly, stealth. Because I've done stealth way more. And certain games with stealth, I'm actually decent. Okay, then. So this candy that we're seeing is not candy. At first, I thought it was. I thought it was actually real candy. It's not. It's drugs. So this is all drugs that are in this fucking place. That's kind of fucked up, actually, that everyone's, like, high on drugs and shit. Oh! Uh, 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 uh. I'm high, high as 
as hell. Yo, she's on the drugs now. There's like a multiple people upstairs. How do I do this? He's here. Then everybody. Great. Uh, eternal scouts with bright golden stripes painted on their body can trigger Black Reef's alarm system with their handheld radios. And when this happens, hostile reinforcements will rush to your position. Evade the reinforcements are saying and fight the choice is yours. You can hack a radio. Blah, 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 So it looks like they permanently hack. Permanently. Swapping guns. Hold triangle to open the main uh, equipment wheel. I already have it. Yeah, it's the same gun. I have two of the same gun. Certainly don't need that. Then it'll be done. Whatever it is we're Well, this fucking sucks. So many colors. This sucks. <laughs> this fucking sucks. This fucking sucks. There's a million enemies. There's a million enemies I'm trying to do stealth and they're all seeing me anyway and it's fucking up my run so that's it. I only get one more revive. I don't know man. Now they don't revive. No, they don't. Oh my god. Why are there so many enemies? There's a ridiculous amount of fucking enemies. I'm about to die again. What the fuck? Oh my god. Fuck this. What the fuck? <laughs> portable turrets. I didn't see a portable turret. Oh my god, man. There's an insane amount of enemies. No health, huh? <laughs> Ridiculous. Where did he go? Oh my god. Hey! Oh, what the fuck? I thought she was dead! I thought she was fucking dead! Do you want me to be honest with you? So far, that was not fun at all. Like, seriously, there was zero fun in that. It was like, I'm trying to sneak and figure shit out. There's, like, insane amount of enemies in a small area. You can't see them through the wall, so you don't know where they are. But they all instantly see you and jump on your ass, and you get fucked up. You take it, you, you, you take damage like a bitch. Like, you get shot two, three times, you're dead. Right? So, I don't know, man. So far... Initial impressions, I didn't like that at all. I'm being honest, and you know, maybe my impressions will change. Initial impressions, I didn't like like did not like that. I did not find that fun or entertaining in any way. <clears throat> I 
We'll see what I have, if my opinion changes. Uh, Black Reef districts will change over the day. Here you can review the opportunities and secrets you discover. And you can learn more about any vulnerable visionary who frequents the area. Select any objective on a diamond icon to track it with a marker. What? On Black Reef, knowledge is power. Cult remembers everything that you discover on the island, and those discoveries are recorded here. Discoveries are organized into time periods and districts to which they apply. Select any discovery with the diamond marker icon to enable an in-game marker to help guide you to the subject of the discovery. For discoveries related to specifically... Dude, this is fucking... Can you just play a game? No, I mean it now. Like, can I just play a game? Why am I reading fucking novels? It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Guess what? Wrong. Can I just play the game? This game does an absolutely terrible job of, of just showing you stuff on the fly. Instead, it expects you to read 400 pages of a book. <laughs> I don't want to read this. I don't want to fucking play the game and learn while I play. I don't want to read. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so there are stacks of firepower at the library. I should check it out. No late fees in the time. Right. They were saying that essentially there's weapons and or, or stuff there that you're going to want. But there's 4,000 enemies inside. So how the fuck do you get it? Alright, well, let's see. Let's continue. Like I said, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. Can you... No. I was gonna say, can you go this way? No. It looks like you can, but then you can't. That's probably not an area that's explorable. It's just a scenery out in the background, right? Snow Carl took me a dollar fifty. Said I got here. I'm watching on mobile. I gotta say, this is the most enjoyable gameplay you put in months. You can't play this game as if it's Call of Duty. You have to strategize and play tactically. Don't give up easily. You can't play tactically until you you've played the game enough to know what you're doing. Like, <laughs> how can I play tactically when I don't know what I'm going up against? Like in that library, I was trying to be careful, but there's like a million enemies, so there's really no way to play it tactically in that regard until you maybe know everything that's inside of there. You know. Oh, fuck, there's two of them. Well, he's drunk. Now, there was a gun. Where did it go? What the fuck? He had a gun. I wanted to get it. It disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. For some reason, I don't know how to get it. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? A gun off of a guy, but he had a big ass gun I wanted, and uh, I didn't get it. Huh. <sighs> the gun was there, I didn't see it. I did not see the gun. Dorsey Square, second floor. My flat, Dorsey Square, second floor. Dude, look how many enemies there are. See what I mean about this shit? All right, fuck this. <clears throat> There's no way I'm going to fight them. <clears throat> Get higher will shit find another way. I see a window up there. Listen, you can almost hear it. Oh, shit. Fucking shit balls. Dual wielding. Cole can use weapons in both hands. You gain firepower but lose the ability to aim down the sights. When holding a one-handed firearm or the machete in your right hand, press the right D-pad <clears throat> to equip a one-handed firearm in your left. Press uh, the right D-pad again to cycle through available offhand weapons. Alternatively, hold the right D-pad to summon the offhand wheel. It's so complicated, man. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. Oh, I want I wanted to put it on the floor. I don't want to smash it. I wanted to make myself a glass of beer. Fuck, man, this game. Oh, look at that amazing reflection. Ray, the ray tracing's off the charts in this game, man. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, my God. 2021, we still got games where the mirrors don't fucking work. That's it? I guess that's it. 
Whoa. Well, we got guys over here. Oh, he's red. Why can't I scan him? It doesn't work. This one has good aim. Unaware of your presence, basic loadout. What's going on? What the fuck? What happened? Did you see what just happened? The targeting made me face the ground. The enemy was going up the stairs. That targeting made me face the ground and I couldn't turn around to fight them. What the fuck? And I lost half my health because of that. Okay, that's great. Well, there's a healing item. I don't know what happened. Weird. I really have no idea what happened there. Why? That just happened by itself. I didn't do that. It auto-targeted and faced the wrong fucking way. Oh, Healing Seattle Air says it was a super chat. My bad. I missed it. He says, you called me <laughs> you called Miyamoto a stupid crap frick in the hitboxes are not correct song? No, I didn't. Crap frick is not a word. The hitboxes are not correct song is a joke. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, that sometimes I joke on stream and I say things that aren't serious. Maybe you don't. Maybe you think... Do you think that everything I say on stream is actually 100% truthful? Like, I don't ever joke around or, you know... Really? Maybe some people think that. You know, maybe that answers a lot of questions. Maybe that answers a lot of questions that people actually think I'm, like, the most serious guy on the internet. Wow. I never even thought of it that way. Well, there you go. That could, I'm, I'm just misunderstood, guys. Alva will says, screw Juliana. Who made you head of security? Char Admitted Charlie says, ha ha ha, cry it out, Alexis. Alva will says, where's the other half of your brain ass crap? This is like unbearable. I mean, like it's unbearable to read. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. It's like a bunch of annoying fucking people just annoyingly talking to each other in a circle. It's so annoying. Like, I don't want to even want to read this. It's obnoxious. <laughs> These guys are obnoxious. I, exactly! But I'm playing a game, it's not fun to read it. It's very, it's just fucking super annoying. The fuck? I have no idea. Cass, it's set up like you asked, ready to ruin Vanya and Antoli uh, Natalie's first day. Which is kind of a dick move, you know. I mean, only reason I agreed is this, to this is the loop. I'm no murderer. You know what you owe me. I expect it tomorrow. Next loop, I mean whatever. Remember, yellow pipe's the safe pipe, and leave the button alone, or you're like, as not to smoke yourself dead instead. What? The fuck are they even talking about? Two of the three fi three hoses on the smoking device will kill the user. It said use the, the yellow pipe. That's what it said. Use the yellow pipe. It's, Carlton Jr. is to me $1.50 and he said, Pro tip, don't actually read these logs. Press circle on the bottom left corner of the screen will summarize what's important. That way you don't have to decipher all the gibberish. Like I said, the tutorial is more complicated than the real game. It is? <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> like right now, I, I honestly don't even know what to make of this game. Just being honest. I'm about an hour and a half in. I don't, know, I don't even know what to say. The game is weird as shit. He says, I don't know something you like doing. I, I, do what I, I do what I like doing for a living right now. What would I go to school for? I have no idea, guys. I really have no fucking clue what's going on. This is so weird. You tell me what the fuck this is or what I'm supposed to be doing with it. I, <laughs> there's zero explanation. Just a confusing log that's written in an annoying way. You don't even understand what they're trying to fucking say. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. 
I agree, Ken. He says, maybe the game reigns it all in later in a positive way. The intro is weak so far. The intro is incredibly weak. It's ridiculously confusing. Doesn't really explain much. I solemnly swear my life junk and everything, I will never reveal the contents of the room to any other person, living or dead. If I break the oath, I will have crabs for every loop forever and always. My code is 0036. Okay. So one of the codes is 0036. Okay, great. That's one. That makes one. I need three. Okay, great. That doesn't help. How do you get the other codes? <laughs> oh, Indead has done a super chat. Thank you, Indead, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Oh, good lord. All right, I think I'm going to go for the library again. As they said, if you if you die here, it doesn't matter. You've already done what you needed to do in this area. So it doesn't matter if we die and lose shit. So I think I'm going to go back to the library, but I have to fucking find it. There it is. Okay. Let's try the spiker. I think I maybe sort of saw someone. What was that? Oh my god. I can't get out, the window's closed. Look. Well, I'm dead. Look how many enemies are in this building. There's like 40 enemies in there. Seriously, there's like 40 fucking enemies in that building. How do they expect you to kill everyone in there? How many enemies are in this building? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yo, there's like 20. Did you see that? All of them got alerted. Did you see how many were in there? That's the insanity how many enemies they put into a tutorial building. Oh, cool. Crude weapon trinket I just found. Oh, that's good. Uh, I guess I gotta really try to systematically kill them all. Or I'm never gonna get to the thing. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Where's my grenade? Um, oh boy. I am getting shot up. Shit is not good. Oh my god. <laughs> now there's someone behind me. Oh my god. I am so dead. <laughs> This is insanity! Um, um, Holy shit! Wow! I am getting destroyed. There's so many enemies! Yeah, right now, I really, I really don't have much to say about the game. I feel like I, I really need to play it a lot more to formulate an opinion. Like, admittedly, that library was completely overrun with enemies, and I don't know if they intended that like, do they really want you to even explore that this early in the game? Maybe not. Maybe this is the beginning and they want you to feel ultra weak. And they don't want you trying to think that you can do stuff like that yet. You know, maybe it's intentional. And stuff that you need to do. That is not what I... That is not what I wanted. I am not enjoying that grenades and hacking are the same button. I just blew my own hand up. Have some fun with that, motherfucker! <laughs> that was fucking great! Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm back from a break, and now we're gonna continue on here. Actually, I'm supposed to be wearing gunner glasses. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna continue on here in the, apparently, the intro, because it seems like we're definitely still in the intro of the game. Uh, we haven't had any situations where we've had to assassinate anyone or anything like that yet. So let's just continue on <clears throat> and see uh, what we can discover here. 
Oh, look who I just found. Whole underground area. Music playing. Oh, shit! No! I tried to jump. The game wouldn't let me jump. I tried to jump, and the game would not let me jump at all. It acted like you can't jump there. Which is stupid, because it does actually look like you could walk down there, right? You can. The game just dropped my input. Wow. It literally dropped my jump. That's dumb. I don't like losing a life because the fucking input didn't come out of my wireless controller. It's frustrating. Wait, shit. Fuck this. Got to lock my tunnels. Then I'll just have to unlock them. Juliana Invasion. Juliana may enter the district to hunt you down. When Juliana invades your game, the tunnel exits are locked. Unlock them by hacking the local radio antenna. You can also take Juliana on and replenish your reprises by defeating her. Juliana only invades districts where a visionary is present. You can only be invaded a limited number of times per loop. Okay. <laughs> there she is. Love to check her corpse, but these enemies keep showing up. Oh fuck! Shift. Okay. L1 teleports. Oh, it's just like it's exactly like Dishonored. Look, it's exactly the same ability. It's not even different. Fuck your mother. Lazy ass game development. Yeah. So, Carl, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know why there's no tips today. I mean, I'm playing a new release. I'm, you know, doing my best to investigate it and tell you guys what I think of it, which is what I always do with a new release. And uh, I don't know why support is so low today. I, I can't really do anything about it. You know, I got about another 25 minutes left on the stream. It would be great if we could get more support, but I can't make people contribute. I don't know what's going on. You know? <laughs> The game is intriguing because it's a combination of Dishonored with other stuff. Costanza says Chad has not been receptive to the game. Probably why the tips are slow. Or, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. All I talk about is the tips goal. What a complete nonsensical statement from K Street. What an ass. What's it like? Weird? Weird? He's a genius. You know he built like a front I double jumped, it didn't work. It glitched again. What is up with this shit? Did I see someone? What? There's a good weird. No one remembers. I don't know where I am. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't jump. I run and jump, and the jump doesn't happen. It's very frustrating. It's dropped my jump a bunch of times already. Is the game targeting 60 frames? It is. It's mostly 60 frames. It's dipped a few times. It's mostly 60 frames per second. Except right there, it was stuttering. It was actually locking up and then unfreezing and then locking up and unfreezing again. So that was not good. <clears throat> and Smith had done another super chat. Said it's still a fun game though. I'm, I, I'm reserving my judgment because here's the thing. I basically just beat the intro. Nothing that I've even done up to this point constitutes what the gameplay is going to be. You know what I mean? Three hours just to get into what the real game will be. So, <clears throat> Call the Junior says after this it unlocks permanent upgrades, and then the game will really open up. Okay, so we haven't even gotten to the main. We still really haven't gotten to the main meat of the game yet. In three hours, <laughs> two more right here. An anonymous dollar fifty tippers. I hate to say it, the game's boring. Really boring. You don't look like you're having fun, or you're actually having fun playing it. IGN was paid off hundred percent. First of all, it's not IGN. It was a ridiculous amount 
of mainstream gaming outlets said this game's like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. It's hard to say I'm enjoying a game when I'm not playing it yet. I've been playing for three hours, I'm still not playing the game. I'm still in the intro. I haven't unlocked the ability to keep stuff, you know what I mean? Like, in other games, by three hours in, you're already playing the core game. I'm not. I'm literally not playing the real game yet. The key code to access the depressurization controls is in the lab annex. Where the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to have time to finish this. This kind of sucks that I started this. And now I have no chance to finish it. sucked. I didn't know what was going on. I'll see you tonight, Kagome. See you for Hades. So, hold on a second. Vantazzi just sent me $4. Says, thanks for the stream, buddy. Had a good time. See you later. Thank you. Judan Tay just sent me $19. Says, let's bring you to $100 in tips. And then Fantasy did another dollar for these. You to man, so that's actually twenty-four more dollars in tips. So actually, we've now reached one hundred and five. There is absolutely no time <laughs> to pick a hat, so I'm just gonna grab this one. Toss it on and continue on because we gotta kill these freaking wengies to finish this mission. Because then it'll save permanently, right? Okay. Oh, there's three left. They're all in this one building, though. Uh. The concept of identity is... Well, I guess it kind of worked out. So, all right, let's figure this shit out. Yeah. What do I do? Uh, what the fuck? What is this? The final Wingy? I gotta go back up? Oh, okay. I guess you use this to harvest the, the stuff from the final Wingy. Okay. And then that'll be the end of it. Am I supposed to be doing it for all of them, or? I don't know, it seems to be scanning them all. What's going on? Oh no! There's a tr fucking turret. Oh, that sucks. Attack it. That was close. The turret almost killed me. Shit. Am I the real Wendy? There we go. So I don't die. Already got full ammo. Oh, okay, let's finish this. Holy shit, that was close. That was very close. The fuck? Am I going the wrong way?
Huh? Why? Oh, how did I drop it? I don't know how I dropped it. Okay. Now we gotta leave. Oh, fuck. Come on. Fucking annoying. Okay. All right. Now, just get in this tube shower thing and press the button. Shit, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? Stand on the plane. Shoot the button. All right, science. Let's dance. <laughs> All right. Boy. That's a small price to pay to hold on to your gear. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm going to end my premiere stream of Deathloop. I hate to say it, it feels like the game just started. I've been playing for three hours, and we finally got the ability to keep stuff between loops. It took that long. <laughs> you know? So, it's not that I don't like the game. It's like you can't have an opinion on a game when you're not through the tutorial yet, and we're still in the tutorial. If anything, the, I feel the game definitely should have had a faster start. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should have been, oh, okay, introduce everything within the first hour, and now get into it. No, instead it's, damn, three hours in, you're not even past the starting point yet of doing anything. You just learned that you can keep stuff between the loops, which is going to allow you to get better per loop, much like other roguelike games. So, <clears throat> I, I basically... I need to play more of it, you know? I, I After three hours, I can't even formulate an opinion because I don't feel like we're in the main core of the game yet. I feel like tomorrow when we play this again, we'll get deep into the actual loops of trying to assassinate these visionaries and then understand what the game's supposed to be. Right now, it's just like, throw, throw a million things at you and then, oh, you know, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one. Oh, man. So anyway, I didn't dislike it. Let's put it that way. But it's hard for me to say I liked it when I don't even know what, the core aspect of what we're doing yet. So I think tomorrow's session will be a lot more interesting than this one. This one, admittedly, kind of a slow start. The plot is starting to unfold a little bit, and that's good. But outside of that, I don't even think we've, we've, we've seen anything that's representative of what the game's actually going to be. I get the feeling... By the time we get through this tutorial, we're going to be able to teleport. We're going to have guns that are leveling up constantly. We're going to have other abilities and things we're going to be earning every run and a little little progression every time, just like any other roguelike. But in this this case, three hours, we're not even there yet, you know? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, what I will say is this, my friends. Thank you for joining me for the premiere stream. I wish I could give you more of an idea of what it is or if I like it. I can't yet. I feel like We've only just scratched the surface, and tomorrow we're going to get more into the meat of what this is and understand it better. But as for initial session, thank you guys for chilling with me, and uh, I hope that you'll come back tomorrow to see more, all right? Thank you very much. All right. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Deathloop. Now, this is my second day playing the game. I'm essentially entering hour four of gameplay of Deathloop. As you can see from me booting the game, in the first three hours, we didn't even get through the tutorial stages of the game. The game is that slow paced that in three hours of gameplay, we're just now starting to unlock the components that are going to allow us to progress in the game. Up to this point, there's been no progress because every time you die, you lose everything, okay? We had just killed off a guy. I forgot the name of the person who had the million clones. I, it started with a W. So maybe what we should do is take a look at our discoveries and leads. Um, I can't read them because Jasper's blocking the screen. Jasper Kitty. Jasper Kitty. You have to stop get blocking the TV. Come on. Jasper. Jasper Kitty, that's it. It's time. <laughs> Let me get this twist. Here, ready? Go get the twist. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to block him out of here today. I like him being in here, and I want him to chill with me. But I need him to chill and not block the TV every five seconds. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um. All right. 
Nuno Gloop did a dollar fifty tip and says, "Have you considered setting up a machine gun on your driveway in case Kiwi trolls break in?" Uh, Nuno Gloop, that's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard, and I suggest you never say dumb shit like that ever again because it's really stupid, like, it, it, like really incredibly over the top stupid. Not only are you derailing the chat, you're saying something incredibly dumb. So stop with that nonsense. Okay. In the little time I've spent on Kiwi Farms, the insane amount of defamatory stuff that's put on there, the insane conspiracy theories, doxing, all kinds of fucked up stuff I've seen over there, I would not be shocked if they were getting sued by someone. Like, seriously. Someone probably, you know, finally had enough and was like, you, you ruined my fucking life with the shit you've done to me and probably sued them. I wouldn't be shocked if that's the case. So... Nice bait. I don't know. I'm just speaking from what people are saying on the stream. I have no clue what's really going on. So. <laughs> if you're not noticing, I'm completely ignoring stupid shit that people are saying in the stream chat. Oh, I have it. I have the code. Awesome. That's a double kill and it alerted the people underneath, but they have no idea what happened. <laughs> See that? All right. So this, this troll is now getting banned permanently. Goodbye, fuckhead. We don't have to worry about that idiot anymore. What a dunce. Okay. Oh, he teleported. You saw that, right? Grenades not even near me. Anybody know what's going on out there? Gun. Gun. Gun jammed. <laughs> Come on, I'm jammed. I'm dead because the gun fucking piece of shit jammed. That's annoying. This gun doesn't jam. Uh, I gotta find a way in, and it's- Oh, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Well, now I'm dead. There's nothing I can do about this. Look. The game spawned me in an area where I fall and die. Ugh. Alright, I survived. Can't activate this? No. I gotta find a way across. Here we go. What the- Oh, uh, oh, why do I keep falling? That's really fucking stupid. Oh my god. You know, I don't want to fall 27 times. How do I get this door open? Uh, I gotta figure it out. What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck happened? I have no idea what happened. I don't know what happened. I died. I don't even know how she killed me instantly. Doesn't make any fucking sense. And I can't drop through here. Um. Moving up. What? How am I gassed? You are one of us. I killed her, then I died. I shot her a ton of times. She didn't take much damage. Then she insta-kills me. I guess she has a poison gun. Now I know that. <clears throat> yeah, I guess the poison gun.
right? I don't know what to do there, because the doors are locked, and you can't seem to get into the area she's in. Ah, oh, here's what we just learned, though. We learned something. to it that he gets burned. Well, Dick Dickerson tipped two dollars, but I don't know who this is. He's saying something stupid. He's saying, Norm passed on because of you. What? The fuck does that even mean? No, really, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> You're saying Norm MacDonald died because of me. Okay. Thanks. I, that's a really nice thing to fucking say on a stream, right? Like, what are you even saying? You're fucking fucked up. I don't even know if that's what you meant. Or if you say, yeah, I don't, I'm just gonna ignore it. I had enough of this. I've had enough of fucking people saying nasty shit about me. Now you're gonna tell me that someone died because of me. Yeah, okay. Royal World did a super chat. Says, do you plan on playing Shimogami Tensei 5 in November? I didn't even know. I thought it came out in December, but... Uh, no. Absolutely not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through all the hot games at that time. Alright? What I'm going to do is wait for a time when things have calmed down with all of those new releases. Likely that'll be December. In December, we're going to have options. Do you guys want to see me try Tales of Arise? Do you want to see me try Shin Megami Tensei? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely not doing it as a new release. What the fuck was that? I didn't touch a laser. Hello. I didn't touch a laser, but it exploded. I don't even understand what's going on right now, and it's frustrating me. Why did that blow up? I was nowhere near a laser, and it blew up and did insane damage to me. Why? Oh, really? Why? Maybe it's the land. Maybe there was a landmine. I guess that's what it was. It was not a laser. It was a landmine. Not that I knew that landmines existed in the game, because I didn't. I don't even know what hit me. A landmine? I don't know. But the way you said it was that you heard that he passed because of me, like saying that it was my fault. You gotta understand, you gotta word things properly, or else I have no idea what you're saying, Dick Dickerson. Okay. Not my fault! F fuck you. That it? I need help, but there is none. What the fuck? It wasn't even there. They're not even around and there's no way to tell where they are. They just fucking get to jump on you because you don't can't see them. They make no noise until they shoot at you. Try to label all the enemies I see. Ugh. The game just seems very tedious. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta be so careful and plan everything so detailed. Is this guy's song saying I'm a frog? I think this song's saying I'm a frog. Right? I think so. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, it's just bow. How do I bow? Down? Oh my god! That's amazing! Are you kidding? That's hilariously cool. A bunch of fucking frogs, dude. Do you remember <laughs> the froggy shrine that we bowed at? And we had a big froggy party. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, that was pretty cool, dude. Alright, guys, so we're gonna try to figure out how to get inside Frank's place, which is what we're supposed to be doing for this, this mission here. So far, I figured out absolutely nothing in the game. I played for an hour. I got nothing. Zero. So, let's see if we can figure out how to get down there. Uh. Oh, uh, what just happened? Now I can't get up there. Yeah, now I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, maybe I can go around this way. Is that cold? I don't know, was it? I don't know why there's this weird field around my face. Like, what is that? Why is this weird thing happening? 
Anyone know why there's a weird aura around the screen? I have no idea. I really am completely confused right now why it won't go away. I have one. That field is the class pass? Okay. I might as well do as much as I can before I go in there. Now he's above, but how do we go up? See, he's up. How do we go up? It looks like it only goes down. I don't know. Carlton Jr. to the dollar fifty says they nerfed the AI's ability to react and be alert to loud combat because too many people complain about this honor catering towards stealth. Later in the game, you get so powerful it's easy to go loud because of it. Yeah, right now I can't go loud. I have nothing to really take these guys out. There's a million of them, and I'm a pussy. You know, I take like a couple shots, I'm dead. So right now I have to be like ultra, ultra careful about everything. But I guess later on it'll be different. I hope. I don't know. I don't understand how to get to Frank. It seems like everything's a fucking maze. The whole game is an annoying maze. And you can't figure out where to go. All I want to do is go up, and there's no way to go up to get to Frank. He's above me, but I can't go up there. This What is this? This is probably another way to sneak in. So I should chill for now and then climb back in once they're all not on alert anymore. Because I doubt that they're going to come this way. Oh my god. Hello. See what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's no clear way to do anything. So I could wander around for hours before I even figure out how to get to the guy. I can't figure out how to go high up to, f to get to him. You would think this is not it. This is probably a new a way to sneak into the sewer. Yeah, this was supposed to be a way to sneak in from underneath, so this is not it. Oh my god. What the uh, fuck? He actually looked down here. That's remarkable. Good, I hope they all come. There we go. Hope they all line up. Wow. Genius level. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're all dead now. I killed everyone in here. Oh, look, it's Doom. Hell. Hell Crasher. It's definitely a, a cockademon from Doom. Shadewire Edo? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, Wolfenstein! Gludenstein 4D or Bludenstein. It's definitely Wolfenstein. Bludenstein. Maybe this is how you do it? I don't know. Sky Daggers 5? I'm not sure. 
What happened? Oh, I, I control this turret. This must have been a turret I already hacked. Okay, this is a different way in. All right, what we're gonna do, can we... I was just gonna say, instead of going through the hallway with all those enemies, can we sneak around? And it looks like you can. Because I don't want to fight all the enemies in that hallway. Yeah. I'm gonna get my pop guard aimed better at me here. So, okay, now can I jump? What the fuck? No, I mean it, the platforming is sucking ass in this game right now. How is it that I'm constantly falling? Right? What is this? The bad inside? It's supposed to be the evil within. The bad inside. Like, I don't like losing all my health because the game, he comically slips and falls. Like, what is wrong with the guy that he's like constantly on, on fucking spaghetti legs? And he's slipping and sliding everywhere. Stupid. Nigger. You're like, the protagonist is super clumsy. <laughs> constantly falling. I couldn't run and jump. I tried. I tried to run and jump. He just jumped straight up instead of running, even though I did the thumbstick. The controls stink. It's supposed to be a first-person platformer, but the platforming controls are terrible. So now I gotta run around and find healing items again, because I take insane fall damage. Or I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Maybe I need crouch jump? I think crouch jump would be way more accurate than the jumping in this game. I mean that. This is, this is seriously not good platforming controls. It's obvious they want you to jump over there and avoid the enemies. I try and I fall three times. I can't run and jump. <laughs> See, if I had double jump, I'd be fine. But I don't have it because I forgot to equip it. Because you have to equip it every fucking time you play, which is really stupid. What the fuck? He, again, I'm not even doing anything. He's falling on his own. Dude, the platforming is comically bad. He just keeps slipping and falling off the fucking ledge. I really wish I had the teleport, which I don't. You know, I, I wanted to get it, but... It seems like it's harder to do that. To get that one. In Frank's exclusive club, doors are only for the people wearing the class pass. We know that. But we just learned about the, um... Didn't we just learn about the explosives? Yes, given his limited understanding of rain flap functionality, Ramblin' Flank won't notice a little light sabotage when it comes to the flaps. So if we want to kill him without doing anything, okay, we sabotage the flaps and then we just move on. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's how you actually beat Deathloop. You don't kill the targets. The targets kill themselves. You set them up for situations where they're going to die because you've set traps. So we already have killed Frank, and because we killed him, we got the log that tells us if you really want to kill him during the death loop, do this. Sabotage his, his fireworks so the flaps are messed up, and he'll blow himself up naturally during the course of the day. So after they, you set that in the morning, you don't ever have to go back and kill Frank. He'll kill himself. So that makes sense now. See? The game is starting to make fucking sense. This is good. We've basically we've beaten Frank. He's done. I don't have to beat Frank again. Because we already know what to do. Oh my god! What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Stay in his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Class pass. There you go. What's funny is it's talking. I already killed him. <laughs> so it's not live. It must be just a recorded a recorded message. Because he's, he's dead. Unless that's just a game error. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. All right, let's ban Jerry Sandusky from uh, being able to contribute. Fuck him. <laughs> like, I don't know who that is. Barehanded assassinations are quicker, and you kick like a mule. Ooh. That sounds good. What is it, buddy? Jasper, did you hear something? He's looking like he heard something outside. I think I heard something, too. Did you guys hear anything? I'll leave my headphones off for a minute, see if I hear anything. I think there might be kids playing outside. Anyway. Help! 
Pick up the spiker. This is the blue spiker, so this is the good one. <clears throat> and uh, I was being told this is actually silent. It's a silent weapon, huh? <clears throat> so maybe I should use that for stealth purposes. Um, what would I like to do next is the question, right? We already made some progress. The, the bummer is... I didn't get a slam. Yeah, the background noise did sound like a bunch of kids outside. It sounded like a kid was screaming outside, and Jasper heard it too. So I think it's my next door neighbor's kid. Hello. Hello. Oh my God! Did you see how many of them there were? That was a lot. Jesus. Can I kill them all? I wonder. It's unpowered. Oh, look. They made their hole. Okay, we can see what's down here because they actually successfully dug their hole this time. Well, I don't think they found anything. It's just a... There's really nothing here. Unless you could platform across, I guess. Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm glit. I'm done. It didn't work. Once again, the platforming didn't work. I ran and jumped, and he didn't jump. And he fell like a rock, and I died again. The game has all this platforming you're supposed to be able to do, but it doesn't actually work. There. So I lost a life because the fucking platforming elements don't work. That's great. That really frustrates me. I didn't fucking do anything wrong there. Another high up area. Now, wait a minute. Do you think it's worth it to try to get across? Probably not. I'm going to die. Well, I bet that's a shortcut. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. I'm not chancing that shit. I'll take my, I'll take my sweet time and not fuck up. Nice, damn. Kicking ass. Thank you for telling me that this is a stealth gun, because I had no idea. And it's really fucking good. I did it! I killed them all. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Now, do any of them have fucking ammo? Nothing like him. The 62nd minute Charlie Montague? A brief interview with Charlie Montague. Oh, he's running away! Oh, wait a minute! Yo, he made a break for it! He made a fucking break for it! Charlie! I'm gonna find you! He fucking ran! How do I get him? Yo, he ran and went faster. Are you shitting me? Oh god! I got him! Oh my god! He was at, he's the teleporter, that's why!
I got his slab. Nice. What gun do I want to drop now? Cause I got the I got the blue nail gun, right? I guess we'll drop this one. And now we got this rare shotgun. The Straylac. And now I can teleport. With L1, I can teleport around. The trick now is I have to leave and, and live. I have to leave and live, right? Well, I'm gonna go on break. The problem is, uh, do, guys, is there any way to actually pause the game? Does anyone know? Like, if I do this... What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think this pauses it. I mean, I hope it does. I hope, because I'm going on break. So when I come back, hopefully I'm alive or else that was a waste of time. I guess we're gonna find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, we killed this guy. But now I need to get out. What? what? Hey, it's that one guy. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that's gonna call it, Matt? Yes. Really? Protocol for a little fun. If I get in on the action, I can take them both at once. Ah, it's a way to kill both at once. So here's what you're supposed to do: you kill Frank by sabotaging his fireworks. He kills himself. You kill those two at once at one point during the day, saving time. So this is how you pull it all off. This is definitely how you pull it all off. For some reason, they won't let me scan that. Cole, you realize that I have rigged up this entire area to register even the slightest part of a hit in the park. I need health, man. Pretty annoying. These explosions are pretty fucking annoying. Remember, he can become invisible. Got him. No. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. The good news is I'm on my last life, I can kill her. Use this slab for 15,000. Absolutely. So we got it. Now I still have 6,000 left. I have to spend it. If I don't, uh, then it, it gets lost in the new day, right? See you later, Guts the Black Swordsman. I'll see you tonight, man. Uh, let's see here. Did I get anything new in character training? So this is the new gun, and this is going to slow down enemies when you shoot them so they can't evade afterward. So how cool is that? You shoot them, they get really slow, and now they can't escape. This is going to be really good against the targets and Juliana. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've completed my second session of Deathloop. After the second session, I can tell you, this is significantly better than the first session. The first session was three plus hours of tutorial. The second session was way more entertaining. Now I'm getting the hang of things. I'm unlocking things permanently. Which is now allowing me to make way more progress. I mean, I killed three targets today. Which is pretty good. Now, are they permanently dead? No. But now I know ways <clears throat> to kill them. Which is good. And that's the goal, is to find the complex ways to kill two, three at once. Maybe eventually you could kill all eight at once. Who knows, right? Maybe that's the finale, is you get them all to, to die at once. <clears throat> so, um, this is pretty good. To, this was much better than yesterday. And now, actually, I feel like I do want to play again to see more stuff that I can unlock and see more creative ways to kill these targets, okay? So today's session, way better than the first. I'm enjoying myself more. I mean, will it get so good that I'll think it's game of the year? I don't know. I can't judge that yet. I can tell you, though, now I'm enjoying myself. The first session, I did not. 
this session, I actually genuinely enjoyed myself and had a good time with it. Okay? All right, Inching Forever, I'll see you next time. Thank you all. Thank you, everyone who chilled with me. Thank you, everyone who supported this stream. I appreciate it. Uh, until next time, in a few days. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. How you doing? Welcome back to Deathloop. I've played this twice so far. This is going to be basically entering my seventh hour of gameplay. With their millions in funding could have procured something with a motor to get all this shit up here. You're just not actualizing. Envisioning the future. Doors of perception. There is no door, right? What are you doing talking to me? Keep pushing. What are they doing? It's attached to a very prestigious experimental weapons lab. You know, oh, look. Remain unnamed. And when she... Sorry, Dr. Evans wasn't known to us. Now she's got this card on for some bulkhead dooring. Up, up. <laughs> He's having her push it herself. What an asshole. It's not even moving. <laughs> this guy's a complete dickhead. I kicked him. Ah, oh, he's way up there. Watch my back. Shit. Reloading. They're all above. Oh, this is bullshit. They're shooting me around stuff, which is nonsense. They're up top. How am I taking that much damage from that far away? Come on. It's also like using shotguns too, which makes no fucking sense. Whoa! gotta be kidding me a turret got me from that far away oh my god man why does it keep doing that it's doing melee when I'm not I think the controller is getting too sensitive just like it was with Call of Duty it's doing the same thing I don't want to do these melee attacks but it's doing them anyway where is this guy Shit. Remember last year, Call of Duty, how sensitive the thumbstick was that it kept doing melee attacks? Yeah, I think that's what it keeps doing. It keeps fucking me up and doing melee attacks that I don't want. That's stupid. Why are there so many enemies? It did it again. I didn't do that. It's like kicking when I fire. I don't know why the gun does that. I'm not doing that at all. Nick... Took me two dollars. So I started watching you recently. I have to say you don't deserve the hate. Your streams are perfect for relaxing, and I'm glad that I gave you a chance. Thank you, Nick. That's a very nice thing to say. I appreciate that very much. Th Whoa, I was off by a little bit there. Thank you very much, Nick. I appreciate that, man. Okay, so, um, pretty much everyone's reason for not liking me is dumb. I don't know what else to say. It's true. Well. See over there? Why are there so many mines over there? Right? You would think there's a good reason. Uh, again? Again. Look how much damage that just did to me. Like, what the fuck is that? Why does it do that much damage? Uh... Curls for girls says he'll tip me $25 if I do 
No, he says he'll do the rest of the tip skull if I do 25 push-ups. Hey, Curls for Girls, man, I realize this. Uh, I'm a gameplay streamer. Yeah. Did you know that? I, I, I'm, you know, people tune in to watch me play video games and comment on them. Yeah. Remarkable. Oh! McBain did a super chat and said, I'll give you $200 to do 25 push-ups non-stop. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, twenty-five. There we go. All right. I do 25 real push-ups on my floor. I actually did. I actually did do them, but there's no way you could see it because I can't aim the camera to, to look over there. But I actually just did do 25 push-ups. <laughs> Whew. I did them real fast. I shouldn't have done them that fast. I should have taken my time. Okay. Yes, Carl is bannable on site. Take a look at the, the pinned uh, message, guys. There's actually people act actively planning on trying to ruin the streams today, so that shit does not fly. That's why I have a pin tweet, or I say pin tweet, a pin message in the chat so you know what's going on, okay? Telling yourself that, and I'll be breaking this sooner than you think. Bring it on. Oh, we're right near the office I need to get in for this. See that? Okay. Oh, we got an invader. We got an invader. I don't know what building this is. What is this? I don't even know where I am. Oh, fuck. Ha <laughs> ha Someone coming! It's Juliana! Oh, that was Juliana! I killed her? It says I killed her. Alex, to me, dollar fifty. Did you hear Master Roshi and Broly are gonna come to Street Fighter V? What? Uh, why would that be? It doesn't make any sense. Why would there be Dragon Ball characters in Street Fighter V? No, I didn't hear that. Um, and Blender Bottle tipped me a dollar fifty and says, I temporarily changed my name to Carl a few streams ago, but didn't mean anything by it. I didn't realize it was bannable on site today. Can I get unbanned? Uh, yeah, you'll have to email me. I can't do it during a live stream. You have to email me your information, including your YouTube channel address, and then I can try to do it later. Okay. I mean, I don't know, Blender Bottle, I don't know how you didn't know when it's literally the pinned message in the fucking chat says all the things that's going on. Like, you really don't have an excuse. At all. Just saying. Okay. The door should be open this time. It's snowing now. I pressed jump and didn't double jump. Are you kidding me? I pressed jump and the game didn't double jump. It acted like I never pressed it. Yeah, I hate to say it. The game is supposed to be first person parkour platforming and it doesn't work very well. See? What the f- It really doesn't work that well. I pressed and it just dropped the input. So because of that, I fucking die and I like, wasted a life. Great. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this is. The Moxie? Looks like it's a side quest. <laughs> this wasn't available the other times that I was here. Press the button. Food sucks. <laughs> the food sucks, man. I wonder what I'm supposed to do here. Two minutes, 15 seconds. What is it? Time trials? I think it's time trials. I guess I'm supposed to get through. Huh? I don't get it. 
Huh? There's a timer counting down, but what does it mean? It doesn't do anything. Huh? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> what am I doing? How many times? How many times? That was the first time. <laughs> huh? I didn't touch the pressure plate. Oh, maybe you're only supposed to walk on the yellow. Oh. You're only supposed to walk on the yellow. What? I was definitely on yellow. I was definitely on the yellow. They don't know what they're talking about. What? I got robbed. I didn't know that you had to do it in ur with urgency. He didn't even say that. What an asshole. He <laughs> He completely lied. He never told you you had to do it with urgency. He's a dickhead. Wow. So now you gotta do everything again? Yeah. What happened? What the hell did you- What? Well, I got some trinkets. It just sucks that I didn't get the, the big prize. I had no idea that I was trying to do a speed run of it, right? I guess what it is is you got to get good enough. You speed run it into, what is it, 2 minutes, 15 seconds or whatever? And then you get the big prize, which is the uh, the shotgun or whatever. Well, actually, I think it was a rifle of some sort. A rare rifle. Trinkets. To make it work. go what do you guys think no one's talking to me right now what do you guys think i think the game's pretty good right now i'm actually enjoying doing the open world side questing oh no one basically everyone is ignoring me no one's interacting or talking with me at all on the stream chat so i'm just having fun with the game you know oh boy again second time in a row I'm very glad that I, I got the uh, the gun ahead of time. Because imagine if I didn't and Juliana came and fucked me up. I wonder if we'll see her running around like an idiot and I can just snipe her, right? Well, let's move on. Let's be very careful here because Juliana is here. So far, the raiders that I've gotten have not been very good. To be honest, they've been pretty shitty. Igor is saying that you, in voluntary confinement, you can find Igor at some point? Wow, she sucked. Another terrible Juliana. Havoc upgrade! Nice! Restore power by damaging enemies while Havoc is active. Ooh. Any enemy I kill when Havoc is active, I get health back. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, get both. Okay, good. Remember, I've done this before. Do we have some trolls? Annoying trolls? We do. Okay. Continuing here. Oh, you're right. I mean, didn't miss Super Chat. Snow Lark did a Super Chat said, Would I ever watch a Snow Carl stream? Uh, I don't watch any streams. <laughs> I don't watch anyone's streams at all. I only play games myself. I don't watch other streams at all. So, the answer, I guess, is no. 
And nothing against Snow Carl is that I just don't watch streams at all. Yeah. So that was Snow Lark. So they changed their name to not to be the backwards Carl. It's Lark, see? Wow, you're so hilariously original. You're hilariously original for doing that. Okay. <laughs> now, what are we seeing here? There's something over here. Trust. The rarest community trust. What's this? A crude weapon drink. Yeah, it's shitty. Crude. The end is forever? No, this is the end forever. Igor is an idiot. Look. Hmm. Huh. Anything here? Yes. Classified information. Operation Horizons Lieutenant Tobias John gave his friend Lyle Petter a piece Blake. of the password. Dart. Okay. Juliana Blake. No. Come on. No. What? Fuck. What did you just find out? I didn't see part of the dialogue. What did I just find out? Operation Horizons Lieutenant Tobias John gave his friend Lyle Petter a piece Blake. of the password. Dart. Okay. Juliana Blake. Bruzen's cleaning house. I've been reassigned to the mainland. Colt main squeeze is a car station's own Lila Blake. So her real name is Lila, and apparently it's his main squeeze. Okay. Oh, really? Lila is not Juliana. They have the same last names. I thought they were the same person. She was lying about her name. Oh, so apparently his his main squeeze is related to Juliana. Maybe they're, maybe they're uh, sisters or something. Snow Carl, no one cares about that on my stream at all. So please stop spamming it. Okay. Last one, guys. We got to get the final password piece. Then we've done it all in one day. We get it done, right? All right. So, Here we go. Uh, I found something. Uh, are you by any yes, chance? Yes, 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 I am your daughter. Oh, what? You've got to be kidding. Come on, you already knew, didn't you? Or at least suspected it. I have so many questions. What the fuck? You can find them. Do that and then we'll talk. But you don't have to because it hasn't changed much. I'm still coming for you. So watch your back. Wow, I did not know that she was his daughter. Now we just learned that. Okay. Oh, come on. Seriously, what's the point of coming in here? I don't see anything in here. Don't tell me this whole thing was a fucking waste of time, right? And I didn't get any new intel, did I? No. Ugh. Oh, the voice recorder he was holding? Uh-oh. My game crashed. Look, I can't back out. Are you serious? My game just had a bug. I can't get out. My back button doesn't work. Haha, <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, my back button doesn't work. Uh, this is not good. I have to redo the whole day because this game doesn't save until your day's over. Yeah, look, I'm, I can't leave. I can't leave. Are you shitting me? You've got to be fucking kidding me. The game glitched. The back button won't work. And I can't leave the menu now. So this entire thing is a waste of time. I wasted a whole day. The whole last 45 minutes I just played was a waste of time. I've seen a lot of complaints about people saying the game is crashing on them. And again, it's just like a, it's a roguelike. If the game crashes before a day ends, it doesn't save your progress. Yeah. If I restart the game, it deletes everything I just did. This is ridiculous. There's nothing I can do to fix it. It won't look. It won't. Be, it won't. All I can do is I can move around the menus, but I can't back out. Circle has malfunctioned. Stealthy Kubo says if you restart the game, you'll start at the beginning of Carl's Bay. I hope you're right. I'm gonna have to turbo through it now. This sucks. I gotta rush now. This is fucking bullshit. Again, I hate to say it. This is why roguelike formula doesn't work. Really. The roguelike formula 
is assuming like a perfect scenario of everything working and it doesn't game consoles crash you know game save files corrupt and shit and it fucks your game up man all right that was a pretty productive stream it guys right that was a really productive stream we got new abilities we unlocked new weapons we actually leveled an ability up and we did this whole plot line with the rack so now we can do the rack from the get-go here we have all the passwords we can do it pretty cool yeah likely this is what i'm gonna do open the wrap boy we also got a big part of the plot there finding out that juliana is actually your daughter right and also that you've been to this island before which is what she was telling you and then you came back for some reason possibly to try to find lila the mother or whatever yeah, it's pretty interesting Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after uh, a hiatus of, of a sorts here, welcome back to Deathloop. All right, very quickly, I'll just remind the streaming audience that you, you guys watching on demand on YouTube don't give a crap about this, but remind the streaming audience that the discussion of drama from outside of the stream is not allowed. This is a gameplay stream meant to be enjoyable to the viewers and seeing advancement in Deathloop and talking about Deathloop. We can obviously talk about other gaming related topics and stuff, but no drama, no bullshit. It's never been allowed on the stream, never will be. And that is that. No derailing. Okay, guys? All right. So we're going to Upton, which my camera's blocking right now. But it says Upton. Uh, we're going to open the rack and see what the hell is in it. You know, maybe we can do other stuff too after that. But all right, let's do it. Explore Upton. Exactly. D-Man Gaming says, I have a side slider window. And you can put a window unit air conditioner in there if you wanted but you need some carpentry work to get it done yeah and personally i don't want to have my window always have an air conditioner stuck in it i like having fresh air in the office during the fall and winter so you know i kind of have to just suffer with days that are hot like today and uh it'll be worth it once the cool air is fully here for the autumn it won't be that big of a deal anymore so and by the way i think they let you kill yourself here if you want that's a way to kill yourself here Right? Kill yourself, idiot! Damn it, no! There's like nothing left to do in Updom. It kind of is a wasted day. And we can't get this now. He's not He's not available to be get, uh, got until after the morning. So I actually have nothing to do. I might as well kill myself. Seriously, there's nothing else to do. And I don't need to save anything. I just want to reset the day. Start over from the morning, do a different location. I think that's why they have this here. <laughs> Gameplay streaming. Ex oh, shit. I don't need it. Except for the heat. It's going to be hot today. Outside of that, you know. So we'll continue on with the Igor plot line. Why am I ignoring chat? Because absolutely no one's tagging me or talking to me. Why would I? You're just jealous of my rocket car. <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit. Fuck this. <laughs> you know, people should be nice to you on your birthday, I feel. Didn't work. It's not working. Uh, it's not working. I pressed it and nothing happened. Great. Now I'm getting shot in my ass. Uh, I need health. Jake Lasso just did a six dollar sixty six cent tip. Says this is another time that the the burning ass animation hasn't played. I don't know what's going on. It has it has played before. We've seen it. 
I don't know why the hell that animation is not playing. The other two animations are playing. I'm sorry, Jake Lasso. I know you want to see it, and it's not working. I don't know what the fuck's going on, honestly. So, I'm sorry. Jake Lasso did a $6.66 tip doing the, the asses on fire strong desire message again he did the other day. I don't know what's going on. I certainly did not disable the animation at all. Jake, have you tried tipping with another another amount? I'm just curious. You know, I'm not saying you have to. Have you tried tipping with another amount to see? Maybe it has to do with you, which is, would be really weird. Let me take a look at something. Give me the money. Well, I can tell you, you're, you're definitely not blocked from tipping. I wanted to double check that to see if maybe somehow you've gotten blocked. You're not blocked from tipping. Everything there is fine. I honestly don't know. Does OBS have animation testing? No, not through OBS. I would have to go log into stream elements into like five screens and then click on stuff. But even that doesn't mean it doesn't. That would not explain why it's not playing. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. So people are like, well, can you make the animation play yourself? Uh. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Let me see. I honestly don't know. I could try. So it would be YouTube? No. it's It would be... Yeah, hold on. My dashboard. Okay. And then... Uh... <laughs> I don't know where anything is here. I really don't. Overlays, my overlays. Uh, and then I hit edit. This is a mess. And I hit this. See, Stream Elements is not as easy to use as Streamlabs at all. Stream Elements is way more complex. It's actually a major pain in the ass. Variation settings. Okay. Play. There you go. Thank you very much, Jake Lasso. Ass is on fire. Strong desire. I'm sorry that it didn't play for you. I don't know why, because it's set up. It's literally set up to play, and it's not playing. So I guess this is a backup way. If, a, uh, if an animation for a tip doesn't play, I can play it manually here. <laughs> there you go. And again, I apologize. I obviously, you know... I want it to work. I, I don't know why the hell it's not working. Who is so-and-so? <laughs> now, Jake Lasso just did another $4.20 tip. It said testing. Now, I don't know what happened. Did it play? Jake, did it play? I didn't see because I was clicking on the other one. So, I don't know if this $4.20 tip played. Oh, my God. <laughs> I missed it because I, I, people wanted me to play that one, so I did, and now maybe it screwed up the other one. Anyway, Jake, I'm getting Jake, I'm getting the tips. Okay? I'm getting them. Jake says it didn't play for him. What the hell? What is up with Jake's? Why are Jake's not popping up? Just Jake's. What the heck? That is really weird. Alright, I'll I'll play that one manually too. What is going on with just Jake's pop-ups don't work? All right, this one's in honor of Jake Lasso being a supporter of the stream. Thank you, man. So-and-so. Thank you, so-and-so. This is so weird because the tips work all day, and for some reason, Jake's do not, right? All right, so now we got to add those tips because that's $10 in tips to add to the total, right? So I think we're at 28 now. And again, thank you, Jake, for the support. I think that's correct. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that would have been right. Actually, no. Hold on. Now I really don't know. Now I gotta double check. Let me add all these together. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. No, we're at we're actually at thirty-four. We're at thirty-four dollars in tips. No, wait. Hold on. Boy, I, I we're twenty-four dollars in tips. Twenty-four. This is fucking confusing. What is going on? Why is stuff not working for me today? 
So, Jake, you are still the top tip with $6.66. I appreciate your tips. I'm sorry your animations aren't playing. I don't know why. They're playing for other people. So, it's very odd to me that your animations don't work. But I will, I'll have to manually play them for you. Uh, Retro Bobblehead says, Fuck all these, these gimmicks. People will typically enjoy the stream. Not to see Phil dress up. And, you know, I have to kind of agree with that. That's the whole point. I think what happens is, when something becomes a meme or a gimmick, then people lose sight of why something existed to begin with. And it's obvious the reason that uh, R-Max Arsenal shoulders, those are the better ones. Oh, the mnemonic visor. There you go. Oh, it looks so silly. I like it, though. Um, no, it's obvious the reason people should be contributing is to help me out, to keep the streams going, to support the content, and say, hey, that's what I really like. I like, I like Phil as a content creator. I want it to continue. Not, oh, I want to see Phil put clothes on. You know? <laughs> but some people get so wrapped up in it that that's, that's exactly what it is for them. Oh, look. Okay. What are you talking about? Stop talking shit. Oh, you have to tip again. What are you even talking about? Andre, you're getting a timeout. I strongly recommend that you read the top of the stream. We're not talking about crap. We're not talking about drama on this fucking stream, man. All right. What do you mean what happened to Jake Lasso? What do you mean what happened to him? Nothing happened to him. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's fine. Jesus Christ, people trying to cause drama. Oh, oh boy, we got a Juliana. Yep, we got a Juliana coming after me. Will we kill Juliana this time? It's on like Donkey Kong. Bitch. All right, hold on. Oh, that's right. We can grab this and we can break it down. Cool. Hold on one second. Do do do. Those explosions scare me, but it's just the the, the dickheads fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Block that. Oh shit! Well, that was fucking stupid. That was really stupid. What? 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 Why am I getting insta killed? It doesn't even make sense. What happened? What the hell did you... What? How did that make any fucking sense? Instant death. What the fuck? That's incredibly stupid. No, I don't agree with instant death. I just don't. That's bullshit. I also don't know why my gun is kicking like that when I try to shoot her. I filled her with bullets and she wouldn't die. Nothing I can do. I absolutely filled her with bullets and she wouldn't die. You saw that. I had the ability and everything. Yeah, nothing I could do about that. Well, it's fine. We just start over. The good news is I didn't, I didn't find anything I wanted to keep anyway. So it doesn't. it's not even a waste. I got the plot elements sticking and now we just uh, do the same thing. So Space Invader doesn't happen at noon. Is there anything happening in the morning that I want? Mystery. Maybe it's the reason you came back. Or maybe it's the reason I keep trying to break it. Mm, guess again. It makes sense. I already lost 17 years. Start forgetting why I'm here. I'd do anything to stop it. Yeah, and you did it knowing who I am. And that hurts. I get it. It doesn't change the fact that we need to leave. Like yesterday, or a thousand days ago, or... However long he's been fucking trapped here. If you spent as much effort learning as you do destroying, maybe you wouldn't have so many questions. Well, here we go again. With a very special guest. Listen and witness us. Juliana's here again. <laughs> okay. Right in the water. 
So I'm gonna have to fight another invader, right? <laughs> what the hell? Huh? What? He didn't die. That's incredibly stupid. Now I have like no health. That's the one thing I don't like. He takes way too much fucking damage from everything. I definitely think that's stupid. Why does he take insane damage from every single attack in the game? Maybe eventually that'll change, but right now it's dumb. I'm definitely gonna get killed now. This is so dumb. That's what I need to hack. What? Oh, I didn't do. Oh, I wanted to do my ability. I didn't do it. That sucked. I didn't do my ability, and I didn't have full health either. I wanted to stealth kill Juliana, which I think you can. I've been told you can stealth kill her. She's not paying attention, so I should. I could have killed her. You know she's going to be hanging around, trying to get me when I come back for my body. God damn it. She's probably hiding in the building, I bet. And she's gonna run out when, uh... Gonna run out when I come by. So what I need to do is try to get a better vantage point. Which I don't know if I can. I guarantee you she's right in this building to the right. Well, what am I supposed to do, right? Like, I don't know if there's another way into the building from around the edge here. Oh, what the f- What? What just happened? <laughs> oh, nothing hit me. I just died instantly for no reason. Let's see what it says happened. Let's see what it says happened. You died in an explosion. There was no explosion. I just died. Yeah. I blew up a gas tank. I didn't do anything with the gas tank. I did nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the game completely glitched and died. I died even though nothing happened. No one, nothing, no one shot anything. I didn't touch anything. I died instantly for no reason. That's happened before, by the way. Did you guys remember that I would die for no reason? It's happened before. It's a glitchy game. It's a pretty glitchy fucking game. All right, let's just try it again. Like, literally, there's nothing to change. I I don't want to change anything. It's just the game's being fucking stupid as shit. I'm wasting my time. <laughs> Dumb game. All right, we'll try again. See if the game doesn't fuck up this time. That was really stupid. It sure looks like I'm just endlessly invaded now, right? Like three times in a row now I've been invaded. There's the gas, but I'm immune to gas. So I could go down there if I want. I'm completely immune. Yeah, I'm fine. See, zero damage. It says gunfire ignites gas. Oh, 
Oh, great. I guess I shot in gas, and so I died. Because I fired in gas. Yeah. That's how I get to Harriet. But the gas killed me. Which is really stupid. Because there's no gas in that room. Look. I think that's Juliana down there coughing. I mean, I'm not sure. You think she would die from damage over time, no? Nice! Holy crap. An exemplar wimpin trinket. And another Nexus upgrade. Wow. I don't need that. I already have it. Try going this way. Stealth and Nexus. It, yeah, dude, the, the invasions are constant now. The invasions are absolutely constant. I guess when you reach a certain point in the game, the invasions just don't stop. Now I have 1350. Stupid. I think so, man. Okay. Do we have another troll in here? We do, don't we? Let's see. Yes, here we go. Another moron. All right, I got rid of him. Sorry, guys. I was focused on the game and actually positive interactions. I completely missed the stupid troll. Now he's out of here. <laughs> okay. Because it's been a while since I've been here. And now i got to try to remember how to get around to where I was. If I'm remembering, let's see if I can figure this out. Right? We went this way. Let's see if I can figure this out. There's mines everywhere. I, I tried to jump and it didn't jump. It's fucking stupid. Again, it dropped my... It's dropping all my jumps. It's, it's not jumping when I press it. Wow. It's not jumping when I press it. It's pissing me off. Well, I really don't want to disable every fucking mine out here. Super annoying. I guess I have to. Because the game's being stupid. I'm nowhere even near the mines. The mines are exploding. And it's not jumping when I'm pressing it. Dumb. I just wanted to turbo over to where I think the area is. I don't want to waste time, but they're making me waste time now. Okay. I think it's over here. I think we follow these platforms. No. Oh, come on! What the fuck? They're actually going to give me a death. They're going to give me a death like I did something wrong. Wow, this is frustrating as shit. Wow. Of course, I died twice. Yes, that's it. Those are the platforms over there. It looks different. Because I came here, I think, nighttime. And it looked very different at night than it is in the afternoon here. Oh, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, guys. I owe you guys the gunner glasses. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Gee, thanks for the money, dummy. Oh, we got a Juliana. Yes, we do. Oh, there's a guy up there. Oh, that's Juliana. I think I hit her.
Well, that's what I was doing. But okay. I'm pretty sure I almost got her dead. Annoying because what am I gonna do? I have half health now, you know? She's not killing me. It's the combination of the enemies that's killing me. Because the enemies are getting these cheap shots off. What the fuck? See, this is bullshit. Why doesn't she sit off the mines? Only I do. Well, I'm gonna die now because she doesn't sit off the mines. Which makes no fucking sense at all. She's walking right over them and doing nothing. But I get fucked up. God damn it. Also, you notice how, how the invaders wiggle around? How their movements aren't smooth? It's because the invasions suck. Yeah. The invasion, the connections aren't very good. How is this not hitting her? Right? Somehow not hitting her. What? <laughs> All of a sudden I take monstrous fall damage. Right. Well, that was stupid as shit. It doesn't make sense. She's immune to the mines, right? I shoot the fuck out of her. She never dies. And then I take monster fall damage, too. It's like, what are you talking about? And then she teleports around, too, so you can't even maintain a shot. Like, I have a sniper rifle. I should be able to shoot her. Oh, no, she teleports everywhere. So you can't. Well, then fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. It's a waste of time, right? Let's try it again. Dumb shit. Absolutely stupid. Uh, by the way, I gotta remember I have teleport. I didn't use it. I completely forgot. A lot of people have actually complained, saying that they feel that the net code of the evasions is pretty bad. Not even close to it. Oh, this is just great. I mean, this is just great gameplay. The game shows a Liliana there who's not there. Or Juliana, excuse me. Yeah, it's, the game's fucked up. The game's fucked up. The game glitched! This is incredibly stupid. Come on! This game is fucking stupid. It's completely fucked up right now. I, I, I appreciate that you're trying something different, but man, the gameplay mechanic it does not work half the time, right? It's really bad. Switch the generator over. Oh, seriously? I can't do this until I switch a generator? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Seriously? So I can't do this unless I have the generator enabled. Oh, come on. Because now I don't even remember how to do that. I don't remember how to do the generators. This actually sucks legit. It's bad. Messy shit. It really feels like it's like 
not very polished at times. And other times it feels like it's really polished. It's so weird. I get full health here. No, this game is far from a 10 out of 10. Seriously, it's far from a 10 out of 10. It's not perfect in any way. It's got a lot of flaws. It's fine. It doesn't have to be a perfect game, but I find it hilarious all the idiots who rate the game's perfect scores. Why did Snowstar just get timed out? He didn't say... All he asked was if I could go overtime tomorrow. He shouldn't have been timed out for that. Snowstar, if you got... I don't know if you got timed out or banned. If you got banned, I can try to unban you. I'm not sure what happened there. When? I was banned for being an asshole. When? Now, I have to go hack the stupid thing so I can leave. I have no idea where Liliana is. Since Liliana never came after me, I almost assume, like, maybe they timed out or they're not paying attention. Why else would they have not have tried to come get me, right? Doesn't seem to make much sense. Alright, guys. Guys, thanks to those who chilled with me. Uh, I hate to say, but recently, you know, uh, the tips have been kind of slower. We're not nothing I can do about that. I appreciate all your contributions. If you like this Deathloop stuff, please contribute if you can. It's different. I took care of money, 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 money. Okay. Now what? Oh. Uh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. What the fuck is this? Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to understand this? Are you shitting me? What the... I'm really supposed to understand this. Scout out their hideaway. We did it. All right. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can flood this place. Ah, uh, see? They want you to flood it while they're here, and that'll kill them. You don't even have to come here. Just find a way to flood the pipes. What the fuck? I couldn't tell where I was. It's dark as fuck. I can't see anything. The game claims I died. Okay. A very great gameplay, let me tell you. Exceptionally good gameplay right there, right? <laughs> wow. So that would flood it, and then they can't get out because we locked the door, right? We're fine, but they're going to get fucked. Look at that. Okay, now how do I get out of here? Uh, I don't remember. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I might be dead. I don't remember how to get out of here. Yeah, I'm dead. Wait, is it pump failure? Restarting. Did you hear that? Does it stop? I wonder what happens. Oh. So I guess I die doing it. Nice. I don't remember how to get out. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get out. So we're done with that. Really, the only thing left is the, the Ouija plotline. I figured out how to kill everyone else. Just not Ouija. And I guess I didn't figure out how to infiltrate the party yet. So probably one more major stream to figure all that out and then see if I can do it all in one go. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Deathloop. I haven't played this game in a couple of days. And last time around, we had essentially like the best run ever. I ended up figuring out how to take out 
almost every visionary. If you take a look at our map here, right? Let's set it up to get Alexis, okay? Crash Alexis's party. It's called Devouring of the Lambs. Devour. Devour. Interesting. Thank you, Chef Venus, for a super chat. I appreciate that. And no, nothing's pronounced golf. Stop making fun of my pronunciations. How dare you? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now where am I? I'm lower down, but it doesn't really help me from what I can see. No. Uh, darn it. There's got to be a way to sneak in here. Back to where I started. There's got to be a way to sneak into this place, right? Hmm. Hmm. They all wore the same masks. Shit. Colt! We found Colt! Hurry! I knew this was gonna happen. There's too many of them. They obviously want you to sneak around, but how the fuck do I do that when there's really no way to get in? You know, there's no sneaky way to get in there. From what I can see. Oh my god, did I find it? I think I just found it. Yup, this is the sneaky way to get in. Okay. I think. Oh. Aha. Yes, this is it. Okay. I knew there had to be a way to sneak in, right? There's no way there was going to be walking straight the fuck in. Sure. I... Uh, what the fuck? There's a trap door that opens? Hello. 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 Oh my god. This sucks. This sucks. Why is he not dying? That's weird. Because that was Alexis. That was the real Alexis. So he's wearing the, the orangish brown coat. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> so maybe I could teleport up there? The fuck? What the fuck? There was a giant explosion. <clears throat> what? What? Um, now I gotta get through all these assholes to loot the body. No. God damn it. Okay. What a mess. This is a no grenades run. I pretty much never used the grenades in this playthrough. Yeah, it's true. I never really found them very effective or useful. Alright, here I am. Jesus, there's so many of them, they're so stupid. I 
I need health. I don't think there is any, though. I shot him directly with a sniper rifle. He took no damage, apparently. So, what I'm seeing here... What I'm seeing here is... This likely is the hardest one. It seems to me... Yeah, that this is the hardest one, Alexis. He's completely surrounded by his followers. I know what he looks like now. I know this outfit, he has that orangish-brown coat. So I know who he is. But we got to find a way. See the trap door? We maybe have to find a way to, to, to lure him onto his trap door. Okay. shit. How do I get out? I think I'm fucked. killed me. Almost got them all. We're getting there. Almost got them all. Only like one or two left. Okay. How does someone know I'm here? What the fuck are you talking about? I was instantly killed, which makes no sense because there's a hacked turret right there and it didn't attack Juliana at all. Why was I instantly killed? God damn it, how am I gonna hack that? There's too many people. This is very annoying. There's too many fucking people here. Ugh. You know, I'd love to answer this question, but I gotta con this game you have to concentrate all the time. You can't even be like off your game. You gotta be concentrating constantly. Wow, I took a giant chunk of health. What the fuck? I'm gonna die. Uh, I can't get out because... Maybe I can do it now, quick. 
Get me the fuck out of here now. Oh my god, I gotta run. Okay. So let's answer the question from Snowstar, okay? Back in the day, in a, in a week, especially during this hardcore, busy gaming season of the fall, I would have Deathloop, okay? I'd be playing Kingdom Bridge of Spirits, okay? Then I would be buying new games like the Super Monkey Ball Collection, um, and like I said, the Alan Wake Remake, and the Nicktoons game. I'd buy all of them within two weeks, okay? Within those two weeks, likely I would beat like three of those games, Okay, and I would go back to GameStop, and GameStop used to have these promotions. The promotions used to be so crazy. It was like, if you bring back a new release within two weeks of its actual release, you get a ton of bonus credit. If you trade in multiple games at the same time, you get a ton of bonus credit. And if you're part of the rewards program, you get a ton of bonus credit. So it would be like, I'm trading in three games. I paid $60 each for each game. I'm getting back 40 to $45 a game, right? So, within two weeks, I would have played, like, three, four full games for, like, 40 bucks. I got all my money back doing that. Um, so, that was cool. You know, that was a time when it was a, you were able to save a lot of money on games if you beat them quickly and traded them in. Now, the truth is, most people don't do that, right? Most people buy a game, they're going to play it at length. They're not going to rush through it like I was doing. I was, I was the guy who was trying to finish a game so quickly to get that playthrough up on YouTube as soon as possible so I could move on to the next new release. That's not me anymore. As a content creator, I've completely changed. Now it's about chill streams, about interacting with you guys, taking my time, enjoying games at length. You know what I mean? Like, I would have totally rushed through Deathloop and beat it already within, like, two, three sessions if this were ten years ago. Okay. So, at one time, yes. Absolutely, at one time. Things were very different like that, but now it's not viable at all. Now I don't even buy physical games anymore. Everything's digital. There's nothing to trade in. I need to find more clues to identify Alexis. Which I already know what it is. It's the one in the orangish coat. But the game wants me to unlock the intel, obviously. Um, okay, let's see what we want to do with our loadout here. Now I have a ton of infusion. Wait, oh wait, what? Seriously? I forgot? I forgot... To get the residuum before I left. I forgot to go to my corpse. Wow, I'm stupid. I fucked up and I didn't get it. I had over 20,000 residuum that I left behind because I'm stupid. Damn, I'm dumb. Wow. Wow. Amazingly dumb. <laughs> I can't even defend myself. That was so stupid. Um. Okay. Oh, we got another Juliana already. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Nice. So screw her. She's dumb. Right? If I see her around, I'll try to snipe her. But I don't think she has any idea where I am right now. So I'm just going to try to do my thing. What the fuck? I died from a fall, even though it was, like, a foot. Yeah, this game has problems with that fall damage shit. I definitely noticed that. Like, that wasn't accurate at all. I didn't even fall. I teleported to the ground, and I fell a foot, and the game says, Oh, you fell a giant distance, you're dead. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? There was no reason for me to die there. Ha <laughs> there was none. The game Yeah, this made zero sense that I died. Zero. That him? Oh god, I think that was him. That was Alexis. He changed his outfits. I didn't know that. That was Alexis because I shot him in the face. He didn't die. So that was definitely him. Wow. 
This is the hardest one. This is definitely the hardest one. Because there's so many of them. Oh my god. He's gotta be close. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. Wow, look how much damage they just dealt. What the fuck? Get down! What? Oh my god, I couldn't even get a shot. That's Alexis. Get him out of here. Wow, dude. I dude, this is so hard. Alexis is a pain in the ass because he's a tra he's a tra uh, tank, and he's always surrounded by so many. And I need the game to be as easy as fucking possible for me to play. Ugh. Oh, excuse me, it's disgusting. Oh. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Wow, I am being absolutely revoltingly disgusting right now. This is ridiculous. Fuck. Oh no! Oh, I fell off the bridge! Seriously? I fell off the fucking bridge. God damn, that was a terrible way to die. What a waste. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was great. Oh my god. Okay. This is how you how you do it. Rhythm based solo, see that? You gotta fuck with that somehow. That's the DJ thing. Yeah, it looks like the moderators aren't paying attention. I don't see any mods around. I see once again we have no fucking mods. I don't know what's going on with people. No mods showing up. That's him. Really? Now I gotta loot his body, which is gonna be a huge task. Ugh. I died. Well, they put me on the rooftop, which could be good. They put me on the rooftop, and I still have extra lives. I may be able to pull this off. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I think that's it for everyone on this level. Except for this guy right fucking here. What the fuck? Where? What? I can't see. God damn it, man. Now I'm way up on the rooftop, but now I'm super fucked. Because, yeah, I'm super duper fucked. This is so annoying. There's way too many of them in this fucking place, man. Oh. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> oh. I know, guys. People are like, oh, you know, Phil hasn't been talking or whatever. How could I? Like, this game, when you're doing these tougher missions, you absolutely need to have your full attention on the game. You can't be fucking around and doing anything else. It's so challenging. John says this is great chat interaction. I guess he's being sarcastic. Ugh, okay. Why did I just take damage? I teleported. Yeah, the teleport... The, I, I feel the momentum is fucked up in the game. 
If I just teleported, why did I take half my life to damage? Like, what are you talking about? Why did I bother teleporting if you were going to take half my life bar, right? Splendid timing! You still are just in time for the fireworks show! Oh no! <laughs> what the fuck, no! What the fuck? I'm dead. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, I lost Carnesis now. That is bull- Why the fuck would there have been a mine out there? Right? The good news is I got the intel. I got two critical pieces of intel I needed. It's not a waste of time. But why the fuck was there a mine there? Of all places. Yes, so, here's what we need to do. Re retrieve the recording from the library at noon. That's what we need to do. And then we also got the critical intel about the music. Okay. Well, what a waste. What a waste. All that fighting to get Carnesis and I didn't get to keep it. <laughs> All right. You mean I'm not a wealthy asshole and a sociopath? Uh, You're just not wealthy. <clears throat> Kubo says the music combination will change every loop. So what I'll need to do is sneak into that room every loop to hear what he's playing in his bedroom or his bathroom. And then go put that in to, to lure him out. I see. Gotcha. That's fine. Oh, we got a new Juliana. I'm stuck and glitched. Oh, there's Juliana right there. On the rooftop. Did you see that? She crawled into the window. I shot her. That sucks. Oh, better not be cold. Enjoy. Wow. That was the worst Juliana so far. Now I died. That was the worst Juliana. Bum Russia got fucked. So now, the Juliana reward will be right next to my corpse, which is fine. Ah, I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Juliana! Sweetheart! Son of a- When I got your message about this interview, I thought, yeah! Fucking my favorite topic! The shit! I love you so turn this much, fuck off. These questions... Are you serious? How, how do I organize my Stop. time? Please stop. Stop it. So I need to go to 2-bit with this in my hand. How am I going to do that? Oh, man. Hey, I'll sweeten the deal. You know I took a modest inheritance at a company worth millions and became a billionaire by 21, right? I'll tell you how. I'll fucking lay it out. It's all about attitude. Swagger. I walk into a room with just one. I don't have to know. You answer. The Eon program is the only little exception I make to this routine. I, I knew since our first meeting, I met comrades. Near this thing never shuts up. Oh my god. The others were super kids. Spirits. <laughs> you know, people don't think of business executives as creative types, but fuck it, we absolutely are. We share uh, a unique way of looking at things. Shit, I, I can. I can even relate to Cole. Military and business. Oh my god, it'll never shut up. Completely. In the submission, I have this this ruthless no determination to break down all resistance. No denying. It's like uh what the fuck? Uh it's like imagine a door. Most people, if it's closed, you come on! For me, a sealed door, I already kicked it off its fucking hinges. I didn't even check if it was locked. Oh, another one of my positive traits. I play harder than anyone. When they mentioned the opportunity to uh, party, like there's no tomorrow here, please. I was like, do you want me to beg? Do you want me to beg? Because I can't see anything. It's like, come, come to my party. It's unimaginable. The only thing I can do is escape. Unlike life on the outside, no 
Wow. Finally, shut it. Shut up. It never shuts up. Oh my God. Finally, the music stopped. Oh my God. This is going to be so difficult. It won't shut the fuck up. It seriously will not shut the fuck up. I only have 21 bullets left. Shot, what the fuck, man? I'm getting pissed now. What the fuck? How are there an infinite enemies? An infinite amount of fucking enemies. I need health, but what the fuck? There's too so many enemies, they won't stop coming. This fucking guy. Hey game, can you annoy me a little fucking more? I need health and I can't find any now. Look how stupid. Oh my god, man. Ridiculous. You think there was enough enemies? That was like 40 enemies coming after me. They are. They're running in place over there. Yeah, dude, there's no health anywhere. Are you kidding me? There's no health for me to get to, to fucking... I'm gonna have to go over here. Not what I want. I want the double jump. Oh my god, now the double jump won't work. I gotta go over here to my apartment and try to get health out of the apartment and then go back and pick the fucking thing up. Oh my god. What a major pain in the dick. Seriously. Battle this is think about it. Someone got paid to read all that shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Another one of my positive traits. I play harder than anyone. When they mention the opportunity to uh party like there's no what? I thought you died. Oh my god. More. Oh. <laughs> this is so tedious. It's the worst. This is the most tedious part of the game, man. Oh. Oh my god. And we're not even close to being done. I gotta sneak through this whole fucking building with this thing gabbing. Wow. I knew the others were kindred spirits. People don't think of business executives as creative types, but fuck it, we absolutely are. And we share a unique way of looking at things. Shit, I can I can even relate to Cole's military and Well. I just glitched because you saw that what was going on, the teleport was on it, and then it went off of it, even though I had done it right. Yeah, I'm fucked now. I can't even go back. It did it again! It keeps fucking up. When they mention the opportunity to uh This is so dumb, it keeps fucking up. Now it worked, dude. That is so broken. It's unimaginable. The only thing off limits is good taste. And unlike life on the outside, no costly legal actions afterwards. I swear we my life. How am I gonna get killer her with this fucking thing in my hand? <sighs> okay, now. I'm trying to remember how we did it before. He's one floor up. At least I got some health. Oh my god. This is so annoying! 
I, I can't even, I told you guys, today, I haven't been in intera interact with you at all. I can't. The game is so ridiculous with these missions they want me to do that I have to pay attention to the game. Okay. Here. Fuck. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> all right. Well, someone named Yuki no Senpai times three says, DSP, I'm a new viewer. They need a super chat, by the way. Thank you. I have to wait 24 hours to chat. Yes, this is a sub-only mode. Sadly, without it, there's a lot of trolling. And we need to do that to make sure that people don't troll and do nasty stuff on my streams. And I apologize. You'll have to wait about 24 hours to talk. And I do apologize that you cannot talk right away. I know you probably like to. But sadly, you have to wait because of the trolling. It is what it is. You should be able to talk tomorrow if you just sub now. Okay. Is Roguelike the new Battle Royale? It seems like it does it at Dre Day. With Dre Day says... <laughs> Is it the new fad? Yeah. Battle Royale was a fad for, what, two, three years straight? And now, like, every game's a fucking rogue, like, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I think what it is is Hades kind of started the trend two years ago. Because Hades actually came out in early access in 2018. And then in 2019, gained a lot of popularity. Of course, the last two years, it sold a lot on consoles. So now I think everyone's like, we got to jump on the roguelike bandwagon. And let's be honest. Roguelikes are a way to reuse assets a lot and have an excuse to do so. <laughs> Right? Alright, that's just absolutely disgusting. This fucking super chat came in, so I'm just gonna block this guy. <laughs> Get this guy out of here. Okay. Alright, so. Now we're gonna avoid perverted stuff. I don't want people being perverted, because, you know... Oh, you can skip. Never mind. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I don't want people being perverted. And say, hey, we need So... To avoid morons, I just skipped that scene. We already saw it anyway. Alright. You can hear her teleporting around and doing shit. That's the way it is. Whoa, you can hear all kinds of noise outside that Julianne is going crazy. Damn, she ran like a fucking bat out of hell. Reloading. Well, that was Alexis, wasn't it? Yup. I didn't mean to kill him, man. God damn it. So the Juliana screwed it up for me. Yeah. The Juliana screwed it all up for me, man. That sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. This is so fucking obnoxiously annoying, man. I already hit her a million times, too. You're not supposed to exist. I see the trigger. She's done I can do. Completely obnoxious. Completely fucking obnoxious. Ruin immediately ruined my ability. To try to do any of the intel I needed to do. <laughs> oh my god. She had a teleport ability. She was teleporting around so I could never maintain my shots. Which is incredibly annoying, man. So now we gotta do it all again. Yeah. That's what we gotta do again. Enact a plan. But I have to go to evening. Oh. The Juliana was super annoying. Just kept teleporting around. I could never kill her. I see. I've never played as Juliana, so I don't know how she gets health back. Obviously, she does because I filled her with lead. I fucking had her sniped and everything, and she still survived somehow. 
Oh, I think, yeah, I, th I think the best Julianas are just going to be doing that hit and run and annoy. Like, totally ruined what I was trying to do, you know? Completely 100% ruined what I was trying to do. Hello? <sighs> Better not be cold. Why can't I hack the antenna? What the fuck? Hello? They won't let me. They won't let me hack it even though I'm standing right in front of it. Oh my god. I see you! You can't hide! I got stuck. You saw that, right? I was sliding in the window. The game got me stuck. I didn't fuck up. The game stuck me on the window. That's incredibly stupid. I didn't do anything wrong. The game stuck me on the hinge of the window. So I couldn't slide in to fucking survive. Oh my god. I've done everything wrong completely. I never did a thing right. So I got a Nexus upgrade. Woohoo. Oh. <laughs> Really? Ghost Veils is the best stealth I've seen you do? I disagree. If you if you watch me play some Dishonored, or if you actually watch me play uh, even Metal Gear Solid V, I did some much better stealth. I'm, I'm kind of flubbing my way through this game, admittedly. I think I could be doing a lot better. Uh, in reality, I don't think that stealth is necessarily what you want to do in every situation in this game, either. Ugh. What? What the fuck? Where'd she even come from? They came out of nowhere. They literally came out of nowhere. So, <laughs> that sucked, because that's not how I wanted to do it, obviously. Yeah, look, Wenji is there. You're supposed to kill her and Egon. What the hell? My game's glitched. Oh, no, I'm glitched. I can't get out. Look, the game glitched. The game glitched. You've got to be shitting me. Guess what? It didn't save. This is a game bug that happened to me before. It didn't save what I just did. I have to do it again. See, look. This has happened before. I can't move. I'm completely frozen. Yeah. This happened before, and you have to do the whole day over. So what I just did didn't save. I have to do it again. Can you fucking believe this shit? I have to do that again, do the music, and then have him go dance there, and then have that be the way to kill him. Yeah, 10 out of 10, guys. This is definitely a 10 out of fucking 10 with all these game bugs, right? It's fucking bullshit is what it is. It's fucking, I'm tired of these companies getting paid off and lying about games. So I can't do anything. Look, I, I literally can't. I can't get out of it. Look. A buggy menu. And by the way, the game's been out for a week now, right? It's been out for over a week. There's no excuse this isn't fixed. If they would see me and kill me, I would respawn. Maybe it would fix it. But they can't even see me because I can't move. Yeah. That's right, Carlos. If you're going to make a game that doesn't have saving of progress, at least have it. So that it doesn't bug out like this. Right, now I've, I seriously have to do the whole thing over again. Can you believe it? Majin Buu says, I think Dishonor was better than this game. I'm not going to even argue with you. I'm not. I, it good, Which part? Killing motherfuckers? Or making you sweat? Ha, this so I got to fucking do this again. So stupid. What, what I want is off this fucking island. This Someone just said, what if you get invaded by Juliana and she kills you? Then you gotta do it over. 
You have to do it completely over then, because you have to kill her plus all the other targets all in one loop. It looks like the residual charged items are completely random. I'm noticing it's different things every time I come in here. Apparently it says Juliana did invade. What the fuck? She did? When? Someone just said, what did Holy you by Julia? What is that? Kills you, what the you fuck is that? Do it over. Okay. Chicken Man sent me a $1.50. Said Activision Blizzard is being sued by another government agency. This time it's the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Yeah, they're pretty fucked. I'm not, I'm no lie. I don't think there's any way they're going to get out of all these lawsuits. There's now lawsuits from the California government from the employees themselves and from this Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, I don't see a way they can get out of it. It seems to me like they're completely boned. So he's dancing right now. See? Yeah, I didn't think so. You can't shoot it. So what are you supposed to do to get him to die from the dancing? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Well, now he's coming up. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. This is fucking stupid. And no, I, as you know, I didn't miss. I shot him right in the head and the game apparently didn't have it registered. It's so fucking stupid. I missed. And now I'm fucked. This has happened the last time I played this too. Amount of time, the opportunity. Oh, oh, ridiculous! You, you can't. can't hide. Ridiculous. Now that's a look. I you. You can't hide. This sucks, dude. This is terrible gameplay right now. Really, oh, it's garbage. This is fucking trash, man. Garbage, garbage, gameplay, garbage, gameplay, garbage, gameplay, garbage, 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 gameplay. And the only thing I could think of was to drop the shotgun. Oh my god. Because it's so dumb, I already had him dead. And the game fucked me over. And now everyone is detecting me no matter what. I can't get down there to kill him. There. Now I just need to leave. How the fuck did they see me? <laughs> How would they have known I was coming out of this window? Nothing happening makes any sense right now. There's no fucking way I would have known I was coming out of that particular window. Oh my god.
I took fall damage even though I use the ability that freezes you when you're falling. It makes no sense. See, now here's why this is going to be so hard. Not only am I going to have to come here and do what I just did, I have to then also kill Igor and Wenji. All together. I have to do that. Okay. Almost up. So <laughs> now what? I loop, which means, wait, am I going to die right now? Or is it like a dream? Is Juliana in it? Oh, here we go again. Ooh, fuck, I hope. Even though he knows that's his daughter, he still says that because they didn't change the fucking dialogue. They're so dumb. Every game I play now is like this now. Fuck this game. Fuck that cop-out shit. That lazy-ass game development. That's exactly what it is. Carlos says, I'm curious. I actually looked it up. The chandelier is a red herring. You cannot kill him with the chandelier. So I guess the point of the music is you at least you're luring him there because he's dancing. You know that's him. You're not wasting your time trying to kill someone that's not him. So I guess that makes sense. Okay. Guys, last chance if you want to contribute. This has been one of the slowest streams in recent memory. I don't know what happened. Is what it is. I can make big progress again. Can I turn this radio off? Or... No. I'm not gonna have any issues with um money. Seriously, there's no all button. No, it's a safety feature. Okay. I already got a fucking Juliana. Great. Right. Oh, okay. Do I think Keen is a mix between Dark Souls and Bug Snacks? No. What the fuck are you talking about? The fuck? <laughs> You're out of your mind. You're insane. What just happened? I took damage for nothing. Yeah. What the fuck? Don't mind me. Well, using either is cold kill three enemies without learning nearby enemies. Uh. So I died. Someone saw me and killed me, even though they never showed up on the screen. That's nice. Uh. Would I play a new a Bug Souls game if it came out? What the fuck, dude? Jaboris, what are the fuck are you talking about? Bug Souls? <laughs> Oops. They didn't hear that. What? Huh? What the fuck? Is it Juliana that killed me? I don't even know. It showed nothing. I turned around, there was no one there. I turned around, there was literally nobody there. I was just dead. Fuck this game, man. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Fuck this game, man. What the fuck are they thinking? You're a bunch of fucking morons. Oh, fuck you! Fuck this fucking game! Oh, dude, I give up. I'm about to die. Fuck this game. No, really. Fuck this place of shit. I'm gonna assume it must have been Juliana that killed me, but it made no sound or nothing. It was just, I turn around, no one there. Dead. Oh, well, that's great gameplay. Snowstar, I honestly don't know. He says, why did Sony pay for this to be an exclusive? I really don't see what, what the what the benefit was. I really don't. I, I don't get it. I don't know what they got out of it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what great gameplay. Right? No, it's stupid. It's fucking dumb. She wasn't making any noise. It was complete stupidity is what that was. All right. So I know what I need to do, but you can see what's going to happen now is that to actually beat this game, it's going to be incredibly frustrating because you're going to have people constantly invading you every step of the way. And if they interrupt, you're fucked. So not only do you have to do the perfect loop of killing everyone, 
But then you also have to survive annoying Juliana's invading constantly, you see? So, I, I am going to do one more stream of this. I do feel it might take the entirety of the stream to do it. Because we got to get through all of that without the, uh, Juliana invading and fucking with us and, and killing us, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this hilarious is that they got me all three times, yet they didn't. Ha, <laughs> this is fucking stupid, whatever. Anyway. Next time around is the conclusion of Deathloop. Thank God, because it's pretty obvious that you guys uh, have lost interest. I hate to say it, you know, attendance, not great. Contributions today were bad. Um, I don't blame you. It, the game is what it is, and at this point, you know, I just want to kind of see it end. But, admittedly, especially with the bugs and things that I've encountered that have been really annoying, I would argue that probably the, I like Dishonored better than this. I'm not saying this is bad, but I think Dishonored actually is a better game. Um, this is just taking existing assets from that franchise and spinning them into a new game without having a whole full development cycle. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't start from scratch to make this game, and you could tell. It screams, oh, it's Dishonored, only it's kind of mixed together and has issues because of it. So, I'm not even saying that it's, it's terrible. I'm saying it certainly is not uh, a 10 out of 10 like these reviewers said. They're all a bunch of fucking lying idiots. Like, seriously, I mean it. I don't know anyone could actually play this game from start to finish and say it's 10 out of 10. I just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, you, you have to be the most fucking paid off, dishonest fucking person to say this game is a perfect game. There's no way you could say the game is a perfect game. The, the parkour controls leave something to be desired. The double jumping not always working. You take fall damage unnecessarily for no reason sometimes and other times you take none at all. The gunplay is kind of inaccurate and wonky and doesn't feel as good and refined as other games. The game is full of bugs that are incredibly fucking annoying. <laughs> like, 10 out of 10. Right. Anyway, Alex took me a dollar for these things. When I play a World of Warcraft crossover with bug snacks, I'm just not even going to answer the stupid questions anymore. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next time that I play this game, it will be the conclusion of Deathloop. We're definitely in a three-hour stream. I'm definitely going to be able to go through here and, uh, and and get everything done. It's going to be annoying with invading Juliana's, but we're going to get it done, okay? So thank you guys for supporting. Until next time, for the conclusion. There we go. All right. Everyone, welcome to the conclusion of Deathloop. Today on stream, it is my goal to beat this game. I have a full stream to do so. And being that, as you can see, we actually have lined up. All of the things that we need to do to end the death loop, break it, essentially. I think we're going to be good to go. We have gone through all the different days and areas of the game. We've investigated. We found all these different ways to off the targets. And essentially what happened here, the game lined up the perfect day for us. Okay? I hope we get resolutions. If we don't get answers, essentially you played the whole game and, and there was no point because you have no idea what the hell is going on. So I hope that they answer these questions, okay? All right, without further ado, <clears throat> let's jump into Carl's Bay. I'm gonna go here and go all the way back now, which is fucking annoying. Okay. Yes, I agree. I'm, I'm happy to see uh, moderators here helping today. Sadly, this week has had a lot of trolling on my streams, and uh, people have actually complained about it, and the trolling's getting out of hand. And there's only so much I can do by myself, so I appreciate you, you guys being here to help me out today. Thank you. <clears throat> Ow! Just fucking punched my desk because I wanted to scratch my ear. <laughs> Ow! No, they're not detecting me. Fuck off. <clears throat> So here we are at the array. The game's being incredibly stupid playing music like someone's coming after me when they're not. What I need to do is find the device to turn. There's no one after me. They don't know what they're talking about. There's absolutely no one after me. How stupid. It's pretty dumb that they're sending these enemies after me. So I'm gonna have to be more careful and come from the side now. This game's being dumb as fuck. 
Why am I? Oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me! How do they see me now? Now here's a perfect example. People were saying the whole game. Why is the game so easy? Right? The truth is the game is only easy if you don't kill any targets. When you start killing targets, all of a sudden the enemies become psychic assholes who see you from across the whole map and get cheap kills. That's literally what just happened. I got cheap killed by someone who never should have been able to see me. Like, where are these fuckers coming from murdering me? How do they even see me when I'm in stealth and shit? But this is what I mean. Like, the game actually gets progressively harder as you kill targets. And I need the game to be as easy as fucking possible for me to play. So I increase the mega... <sighs> kind of figured as much, and yeah, I know what that means. What do you think is going to happen when you break the loop? Mm -hmm. We're all going to get off this rock. I'm sorry, but no. We're all going to be dead. You don't know that. Maybe the anomaly collapses and kills us all. Maybe there's nothing left out there but empty space. Maybe the cult that walks out of the loop is one of those other jackasses you've already run into. Or maybe midnight takes by and the nine of us just stay. Life's dead. full of maybes, Juliana. That's what makes it life. The odds are against us. Always are. <laughs> So you notice there's a bunch of shitheads in the stream chat who literally are just talking about Snow Carl and nonsense. They're not talking about the game. They're not talking to me. They're just talking bullshit. Okay? You notice that, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Since these idiots aren't here for the stream, I'm banning every one of them right now. Okay? Ready? I'm taking care of every one of them. They're all gone. Okay. Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Before we do this, let's get rid of every one of them. <laughs> How about ban your ass? Every one of these idiots who's been here for the past two or three days, right? And has just been sitting here derailing the stream talking about snow and snow carl and bullshit all right let's keep going how many more right i'm just gonna keep going i don't care because it's hilarious i'm here doing a gameplay stream trying to have a chill shine with my viewers who are here to enjoy gaming with me i look at the stream chat snow carl for mod snow carl i wonder who'll be mod will he be the viceroy snow carl snow carl snow carl so here fuck you Get the fuck off my stream so I can enjoy games again. I'm tired of this now. All week it's been like this. I'm not going to allow my streams to be derailed by these people anymore. I'm done with it. I've already laid down the law. Y your fucking stupid ass leniency is now done as of today. Alright? I'm done with this. I want to have fun with a game and have an interactive stream with my audience. And I have my audience telling me we can't talk because everyone in the fucking chat is talking about Snow Carl or other dumb shit. It's over. Okay? You had your chance to behave and act like fucking humans. You're not. You're shitheads. So now fuck off, and I'm going to ban every single fucking person who talks about that shit is going to get banned right now. Okay, now here's the deal. You guys, you know, you got to understand something. All right? I'm very sensitive. I'm a very sensitive person. I have, you know, incredibly thin skin, and I can't put up with these kind of... of uh, Barbs and, and jabs and 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 razz. I can't. I can't put up with it. I you know. So you guys gotta you gotta either cut it out or you know what you, what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna turn everything off. Turn off turn off the whole stream completely. <clears throat> Pretty sure we just pulled it off. <laughs> Officer Sanders just became a standard supporter. Thank you, Officer Sanders, for becoming a channel member. Now, ladies and gentlemen, did a super chat saying, Officer Sanders is a detractor meme. How the fuck is that a detractor meme? I don't care. Haha, <laughs> I really don't. I don't know who that is. It has nothing to do with me at all, in any way, shape, or form. So I don't care if it's a detractor meme or not. It has nothing to do with me. But thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for the super chat. 11 95 You can't afford eleven ninety five. What's your problem? Snow Shovel says, I asked you four times. Don't say I don't talk about stream or you. Did I not say that when I'm playing the game, I can't concentrate on talking with you guys? I've already explained this. Again, you're, you're being a dick to me. I said, when I'm playing this game, it's very attention-grabbing. I have to pay attention. If I fuck up, 
I have to redo the whole thing from the start. You know, I'm sorry, but that's just the way the game's made. All right? You understand? I've explained it a bunch. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. I immediately got invaded. Okay. What the fuck? They put a mine there. Well, that's one life down. I had no idea they put a mine in that door because I was never there before. Well, at least the mine's detonated now, right? Why'd I lose health? You see what I mean about the bullshit in this game? I lost health for no reason. I teleported right down there. I should not have lost any health, but I did. What the fuck? Yo, come on. Are you kidding me? They put another mine there. This is bullshit. They put another mine there. Now it's my last life. Dude, this is bullshit. They put mines where they never were before. In all my other runs, there's never been mines there. <laughs> now I'm dying. I can't even move. I can't. I'm pressing jump. Nothing's happening. Yeah, this fucking sucks. I'm gonna have to do the whole thing over because the game's a piece of shit. Why the fuck did they put mines in places they've never been before? Because there's more health over here. Fuck. If anyone can be a security expert around here, why? Okay. Shit, I thought there was another one here. There might not be. Ugh, I wanted full health. I think the, the Juliana gave up at this point. Igor was killed? I didn't even... What? I didn't do it. I don't even know how he was killed. I didn't do it. He died himself, right? Whoa. Okay then. Hello, Royal World. This is the finale of the game. I have no extra lives. That's him. Uses everyone around him. It has a cool gun. That's fucking him right there. Now the question is, do I just try to snipe him? Because he probably won't die from a sniper shot because he's a boss. You know? <laughs> Fuck, I'm at the exit, but I don't know how to get in. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, shit! I got her! Pitchfork. Oh, my God. She was waiting for me at the door and wasn't paying attention. Shorthand. Flamingo. Jack stay. Wow. She wasn't paying attention. She was idling. So, I got her. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we've done it. So now it's going to be the final showdown, right? Okay. Now, there's a lot of shoutouts I'm going to do, but I think there may be a final fight. I'm not sure if this is the finale or an actual final fight. So let's see what happens. You'd probably kill her, huh? I bet you could. But it might, it might fuck the game up. 
You're not, probably not supposed to do that. Oh my god. Alright, well, while we're waiting... You know, no one will forgive you. I won't forgive you. It's happening. It doesn't have to. Colt, you still have a choice. Take the pistol. <laughs> Pick up the pistols? I mean, are you forced to? I don't want to. I might be forced to. I don't think you could do anything else. Take it. Yeah, look. I'm not allowed to, to, to bypass it. I don't want to do what she's telling me. I guess I have to. They're forcing me to. <clears throat> <sighs> Are these antiques even going to fire? If you pull the trigger. And if I don't? Amazing things. Other worlds, other times. Where we kill each other. Sounds like fun. On three. One. Two. Three. Uh, didn't do it. <laughs> Congratulations. You fucked up. You know, for a second you almost had me. So what happened? Wait, what? What? <sighs> One perfect day, completed ending it. Okay. She's there. Here goes. Okay, plans. What are we doing later? Already got plans. Party, cake stand, drop Alexis in the meat grinder. <laughs> you know. Classy night. Wanna get a drink after? Like, with you? Yeah. Uh, I like drinking. <laughs> yeah, you do. Think you can keep up? You used to rub the party. I'll bring the this drink. is the happy ending. I just got the happy ending. Yeah. There were, I guess there's multiple endings, and that's the happy ending. Uh, you, uh, <clears throat> you can call, uh, me, uh, dead, if you want. Okay. <laughs> dad. Okay, that's, uh, Too weird. Uh, yeah, let's not, uh. Yep, no. Nope. Uh-huh. Dad? Stop. <laughs> Please stop. That's it. Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me. Congratulations, you unraveled the mystery at the heart of Deathloop? No, I didn't. Cold story may be over, but that shouldn't stop you from further exploring Brackfree's mysteries and secrets. Hop back into the action with everything you collected at your disposal. Alternatively, lace up Juliana's sneakers and make a bid to protect the visionaries and the loot from other players. If you wish to experience Cold Story again from the beginning, you can reset your progress in the options menu. Thank you for being a part of this with us. Uh, what? What happened? Look at that! What? So, there was no explanation with that ending. Seriously, there's no explanation with that ending. All it is is you live out an infinite life with your daughter on the island and your friends. So that's actually a good ending because you're actually end endlessly get to kill these assholes and then you live there forever with your daughter. But at the same time, that's actually a shit ending because there's no explanation for any of it. You don't get an explanation as to why she's so much younger than you, or, or why are you almost the same age instead of her being so much younger? Why? Like, who what happened to the woman who, who's the mother? No explanations at all, right? None. Zero. 
So if I hit break the loop, I'm assuming it's just gonna resume. Yeah. All it is is the same, it's the same as if I had never just done that. I could do the whole thing from the start again, see? So you could do the whole thing from the start again and get it maybe the different ending. But I don't know what the different ending is, nor do I really want to go through all that again. Just being honest, I don't want to do the whole fucking thing from the start again. Right? So there's literally no ending at all to the game. It doesn't explain anything going on. It should. You should get an explanation there no matter what ending you choose. It should have an explanation. It doesn't. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Your boy Lim says what's probably worse than that ending is knowing that you have to beat it again to even get the other ending. And it, the truth is, here's the truth. It's probably not even good. The other ending is probably doesn't explain anything either. The other ending maybe ends the loop, but it doesn't it doesn't help anything. Right? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I do want to do the Juliana invasions. We're going to do some of that. That's going to be the, the, basically the rest of the stream today. But what I want to do is take an opportunity to give you my overall opinion now that I've basically seen the entirety of the game except for the alternate ending. Um, wow, I just completely fucked my glasses up. So, let's talk. When I first started playing this game, I hated it. Something's wrong. No shit, stupid. This is so predictable. This game is going to be right up your alley. Right? If you like Dishonored, this game is definitely going to be something you're going to want to enjoy. But, but, okay, outside of that aspect of the game, okay, this game takes mostly elements from other Arcane Studios games, including Dishonored and Prey, and combines it with roguelike elements from other franchises to create a hybrid of what they've already made, okay? This game is not unique. This game is a hybrid of, of games you've already played. Now, that's okay if that's what you're looking for. But to go into this game expecting something completely original or different, or to go into this game and say that it is, means you just haven't played the other games. And it's hilarious because I read reviews, oh, it's the most original take on this or that. There's nothing original about this game. Really. It's You've played it before. If you played Dishonored, if you played Prey... Or if you played any other roguelike, you've seen all the elements in this game already. It's just that they kind of reshuffled their cards together to make a hybrid game that's a little bit different than what Arcane has been putting out. It's funny because someone said this to me yesterday when I was playing Hades. They said, what is this? The new fad? We had Returnal earlier this year. You had Hades that came out two years ago, but now it's popular and now everyone's getting it on every console. It just came out for Game Pass on Xbox Series X. Now you got Deathloop. Like, what is it? With these roguelikes. It seems like this is the new gaming fad that everyone is jumping on. Just a couple years ago, it was Battle Royale. A couple years before that, it was the Team Looter Shooter. Before that, it was another... You see, it's these gaming fads that all these companies jump on. And I feel like Arcane looked at the fads and said, Oh, we see that a game like Hades, a roguelike, or even Binding of Isaac, if you want to go back a few years before that. That these games are doing well. And we want to make a new game, but... We want to reuse our assets. Man, did they reuse assets in this game. Like I said, you could tell that the graphical engine is the same as Dishonored with different looks and skins on it, right? The abilities are almost exactly the same of what you did in Dishonored and or Prey. It feels like they just took things from other games and lifted and copy and pasted into a different formula of a game and said it's something new well it is but it is the first person the first first person shooter i've ever seen with roguelike elements maybe there are, are others and i'm i'm you know i don't know this is the first one certainly if i've ever played and i do like that spin on it okay uh, but that being said when you're playing this game you're like man it feels just like games i played before i don't feel like it's originated in, in any way uh, except for the roguelike aspects okay now, the story. The story is interesting because as the game unfolds, you're learning a little bit more about each visionary. You're learning alternate ways to murder them. But ultimately, the story is disappointing because at the end, there's no explanation. If right there at that ending, they said, okay, here's the truth. Here's really what happened. Here's what's going on with the, the woman who you had Juliana with, why you left the island, why you came back, why you're trying to break the loop. The, the game didn't do anything. It didn't do anything like that. It just said, oh, well... And I'm tired of games these days copping out. Because 
here's the thing. If you spend full price for a retail game, and then on top of that, you invest a lot of time in that game. You know, I played for 16, 17 hours. I would argue if you're trying to do all the different plot lines and things like this, you could probably play it 20, 30 hours if you really wanted to take the time to do it. You want a definitive answer <clears throat> to your explanations, you see? You want a definitive answer to all the questions that popped up during the course of the game, not an open-ended game. And more and more these days, I'm seeing these games with open endings and no explanation. Another example of this, okay, uh, Returnal. Returnal's a game that's a fucking roguelike. You keep replaying the same stages over and over, trying to get to the end. You get to the end, oh, well, now you gotta beat it again, a second time, with special items and shit, and then you see the ending. And the ending pans out, and you don't understand it. Because you're not meant to. It's a, oh, just you figure it out for yourself. And I'm tired of games doing this. I'm serious about this. I'm tired of it. If I played through the entirety of your game, give me an actual explanation of what just happened. Not, oh, well, maybe if you had spent another extra 10 hours to find the obscure logs that were behind two hidden backstory missions, maybe you would have gotten a little bit more. No, fuck that. No, really, I mean that. Fuck that. I paid for your game, I played your game, give me an actual conclusion to the story of your game. No more should it be acceptable that we just forgive that they had a creative vision that you figure it out for yourself and you should have done 10 extra secret things to get the actual story. Fuck you. No. Enough of giving these guys a pass. This game should have had an ending, no matter what ending you choose. I chose the one where you don't shoot Juliana and you, you live out life together here in, the, in on Black Reef, I guess, forever. Infinite Loop or whatever. You should get an explanation and a true ending. Now, oh, you get half of an ending. You get part of it, but you should have done extra work. Fuck you. No, really. I mean this. As a gamer spending money, fuck any game developer who thinks that that is fair and thinks that that is a good use of my time. It's not. It's disrespectful, it's dishonest, and it's incredibly fucked up that you're taking full price for a game and you only give me par partial what I should deserve when I played through your game. I didn't rush through Deathloop. I've been playing it for two weeks. You know, I've been playing it, and by the way, my viewing audience was not in love with this game. My viewing audience actually told me as I was playing it more that they weren't enjoying it. And I was like, I don't care. I'm having a good time with it. I'm going to take my time with it. I'm going to do what I can to, to beat it. But then I should have gotten a fucking ending. Now, oh, here's your ending with no explanations at all, open-ended. Go replay the game 12 times to look for a secret hidden log that may have the information in it. Fuck that. It should have definitively given you your answers at the end of the game. It should have. Okay? And the other thing is, the game, because of the nature of the game, you're going to replay the same areas over and over and over. That's okay. Because I like the fact that there are different scenarios that pan out as you get new intel or whatever. Like that perfect day run at the end there where you're just trying to kill everything is actually pretty neat because of all the ways that we lined things up, right? We drown two of them together. One of them, Igor, killed himself at the party like an asshole. I think he dropped himself through the trap door or whatever, right? Um, and that's cool. But, but, that being said, you are going to redo the same thing so many times that... It feels like it's not as complete of a game as a game that maybe was well designed to have actual established stages. I'll give you an example. If you're playing Prey or you're playing Dishonored, those are worlds that are fleshed out that have linear places you got to go. But there's different ways to do the things in these, in these areas. But definitely there's ways you got to go, things you got to do to beat the game. Okay? You're not going to keep returning to the same places a million times. I guess Prey, with Prey, there's a little bit of an exception because you do have to backtrack a few times to new areas because new things open up over the course of the game. That's the way the game was designed. But the point I'm making is you paid full price and you got a game where essentially there's four areas in the game. Now they change, but that doesn't mean that there's... It's still four areas. Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um... And to see that they're charging you full price for the game where they reuse the assets from other games. They literally reuse the same maps over and over every to every, you know, man. And by the way, by no means am I saying the game's not fun. It is. I actually, overall, I did enjoy the game. Fuck you. No, really. I mean this. As a gamer spending money, fuck any game developer who thinks that that is fair and thinks that that is a good use of my time. It's not. It's disrespectful, it's dishonest, 
and it's incredibly fucked up that you're taking full price for a game and you only give me par partial what I should deserve when I played through your game. But for me to read all these mainstream reviews praising the shit out of this game and kissing its ass and saying it's 10 out of 10, I don't know what world these fucking gaming journalists live in anymore. I just don't. I don't. They're not living in the same world that you and I live in. We live in a world that's very practical. A world where we have to pay for our games, we have to play through them ourselves, and by the way, we don't rush through our games like those people, right? There's no deadline for me to beat the game. I'm going to take my time, I'm going to try to get the content out of the game, I'm going to give it a fair review. How many people who are gaming journalists played this game and rushed through it, and you know what I mean, and didn't experience half, half of the stuff in it? How many people never experienced the invasion mechanic because guess what, when the pre-release came out, who the fuck was invading? All the journalists were rushing through it to get their reviews out, so no one had the time to do the Juliana invasions, right? So likely they were all playing offline with the AI with being terrible and shit, and probably just turboed through it. Okay, they probably never even experienced the true nature of a human invading your game. In addition to that, this game had tons of bugs, okay? Number one, physics bugs when you're falling. Why is it that sometimes I fall, take no damage at all, Sometimes I fall, I take exorbitant amounts of damage. Sometimes I do things to break my fall, like double jump or teleport, and I still take exorbitant amounts of damage, even though I broke my fall. There were times in the game where I was just walking, and something exploded around me for no reason. No one was shooting at me, no one was following me, I was by myself sneaking, and something explodes and kills me. What? Obviously there's problems with the physics of the game that aren't addressed, and... No one talked about that in the fucking mainstream reviews, okay? Multiple times during the course of this game, I saw game bugs happen. Enemies stuck in place, infinitely falling and shit. No one talked about that in the, in the fucking mainstream reviews. Multiple times, I was in a menu just like this, trying to move around, and the menu locked up. The animation would keep playing, but I couldn't back out of the fucking menu because the game has a game bug that crashes the menu, and now the buttons don't work. And guess what happens when you get stuck in the menu? You lose your progress because the game's a roguelike and it only saves for that one specific time period of the day. So let's say, for example, you did everything you needed to do in, in a really elaborate part of the day. Oh, time to end it. Let me go into my menu quick. Menu freezes. You got to do the whole thing over. Never addressed in a mainstream review. Not one mainstream fucking review brought it up. <clears throat> so I'm sorry... Of all the recent games that have been reviewed, alright, I gotta say something. Here's the thing. Last year with Last of Us 2, I staunchly disagreed with the mainstream game reviewers who gave it a 10 out of 10. But, but, if I had liked the story of The Last of Us 2, I probably would have thought that it was an amazing game. If I had enjoyed the story of Last of Us 2, I probably personally would have given it like a 9 out of 10. I'm very, I'm, I'm a tough reviewer. But I probably would have said it was an outstanding game because the graphics, the gameplay elements, all those things were amazing. The one thing I did not like about the game was the story. And that's sad because that was a major focus of the game. So my main disagreement with game reviewers last year was, was Last of Us 2 was because of the story. I, for the life of me, cannot tell you what the fuck these reviewers were playing that say this game is perfect. Just on an objective level. The fact that the physics are messed up. The game's full of bugs. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention the parkour. Sometimes the jumps would drop repeatedly when you need them the most. If you fall, you die, you lose one of your lives. Why are my jumps not responding? That happened multiple times in the playthrough as well. Okay? So, in regards to the game itself, objectively speaking, anyone who plays the game, who even, you know, see game bug, it's not a perfect game. You can't give it a perfect fucking score. But there's so many reasons why I can tell you this game is not a 10 out of 10. Reusing assets from other games. Reusing the same location so you're paying full price for a game that really is giving you half of the content of a real full price game. The fact that the game had no definitive ending at the end and didn't answer any of your questions when you beat it. I can keep going on and on. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many reasons. And by the way, no, I'm not saying the game is bad. I enjoyed playing this game. But I could not in good conscience tell you guys that this is a 10 out of 10. I would actually feel dirty to do it. I would actually like, I would actually feel bad that I told people out there on the internet who trust me 
to give you an honest take and opinion on the games that I play. If I told you this was 10 out of 10, I would actually have moral conundrums in my head. I would actually be bothered by this. Because there's no fucking way this game could be a perfect score. With actual bugs and issues that need to be addressed and patched out. And the fact that the value is not there. A $70 price tag on this fucking game. When it doesn't even have half the content of other similar games. Every Dishonored game had more content than this. Except for the standalone expansion. Dishonored 1 and 2 has more content than this game. Prey has way more content than this game. But they're selling it for the same price. Actually, I take it back. They're selling it for more than that. Okay? So, as much as you want to argue with me that game reviews are subjective, I will argue with you there, were, there are factors involved in a game review. When you're a mainstream reviewer who are going to put that review out on the internet, it's going to hit the aggregate reviews on places like Metacritic and places like that. And it's going to basically say, this is what you need to believe this game is because you're going to make an educated judgment on if you're going to buy a game or not. All right? Objectively, there are reasons why you cannot give a game a perfect score. This game has those reasons. Bugs. Issues with the controls. You can't give a game a perfect score that objectively has things wrong with it that can be improved. And every fucking gaming outlet that gave this game a 10 out of 10 lied to you that is it's dishonest it's an outright lie it's not even oh i skewed the game a little bit because i enjoyed it it's they are lying right bold face to you they're telling you we have no integrity we don't care we're gonna just lie for profit because i can't even think of a fucking reason why all of these mainstream reviewers would have come together with concerted effort it really does seem like collusion to me it seems like collusion that these idiots come together and time and time again do this kind of shit. They did it last year with The Last of Us 2. They're doing it this year with Deathloop. The game's not perfect. It's a good game. I enjoyed playing it. But it's not as much value as the last few games from Arcane. It has bugs that need to be fixed. It can't be perfect. It, on paper, it can't be fucking perfect. And it irks me that there are people that believe that shit. How many people, when they heard two weeks ago... Deathloop's a 10 out of 10, ran out and bought the game. All over social media, of course, everyone, oh, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, everyone should play the game, 10 out of 10. It's like, what the fuck is your problem? You know? The, it just really bothers me these days. It does. It, that people... Ugh. I'm not... Again, I hope the game sells decently. I hope that the game does well. I hope that they take this formula and maybe they could do more with it in the future. But this is not a perfect game that deserves insane blockbuster sales and by the way take a look at the actual aggregate reviews of players instead of mainstream reviewers and you'll find that people agree with me they're like no this game is ridiculous how can you say it's, it's fucking how can you say it's perfect it's not you're out of your fucking mind all right so ladies and gentlemen here's what we're gonna do now i still have over an hour over an hour to play this game what i want to do is I want to check out the Juliana Invasion mode. I've actually heard bad things about it. I've actually heard that when you play as Juliana, that the game is actually choppy and wonky and the connections aren't great. And a lot of people are very upset about this because they thought that it was going to have a really legit uh, invasion aspect to it, and it doesn't. Now, I don't know. Let's judge for ourselves, okay? Holy fucking shit, and relax. Some people just can't control themselves. Alright, we're connecting, supposedly. Now, let's see. The Most of the people who tried this say it sucks. Most of the people who tried this say it's laggy, and it's very disappointing. It looks like we're an Uptum. Kills himself. So, this is weird. You go through all the areas. Can you set up traps? I wonder if you can set up turrets and shit. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this was the treasure room, wasn't it? I played through the whole game, I don't really know what those pads do. <laughs> Cole's attacking the antenna, oh shit!
Wow. With no abilities, you suck. That weapon is terrible. That starter weapon is completely garbage. That starter weapon is complete trash. I completely filled him with bullets and I don't think he even died, right? What the? Why I take damage? The fire? The fire? <laughs> the fire gave me damage. I could grab. I could heal myself by grabbing healing items. You saw that? There he is. I see him. Okay. He's up there. What happened? There was no gunshot. There was no explosion. It looked like I was walking through one of the proximity mines. And I died for no reason. There was no explanation at all. Zero. That's some great gameplay right there. Yeah, there's no kill cam. Nothing. It didn't even show how he killed me. It didn't even make any sense. <laughs> Chuma guesses maybe he shot the mine and the mine killed you. Killed you? <sighs> sure he did. Sure that's what happened. Where'd he go? I got him! I got one kill! Nice! No, are you kidding me? The Eternalist almost killed me with a grenade! I need health now. I downed him once. Good shit. But now I need I need more health. Shit. I gotta go around now. This sucks. Maybe I could snipe him. Double jump! It won't double jump. It seriously won't double jump. It's glitched. on the other side. I got him again! That's twice! Two down! This is awesome! Two down, one to go. Man, I need health though. I have no fucking health. Oh shit! He got me. He revived and I was the third one. But man, I downed him twice. Right? I downed him twice, so hopefully I get some rewards for that. Let's find out. Okay. Anyway. Carlton Jr. Timmy Dollar Fifty saying, I, I'm sad that you're disappointed with the game. I thought it was great, maybe top five game played this year, but not game of the year. Ending disappointed me. Seems like there was an underlying story in the logs that they didn't explore. Missed opportunity. That's exactly what I said. The game doesn't have a, a real ending. It ends, it's like, oh, well, maybe if you fucking read logs or found some optional shit in the game, you would have understood the story, but they didn't bother putting that in the ending because they're lazy, you know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like someone's playing with explosives. Yeah, look, what the fuck? That's Colt right there. Where did he go? What the? Huh? 
What the hell just happened? What the fuck? They didn't make any sense at all. That literally made no sense. I sniped him three times. I go down there. An explosion bounces me into a wall. Even though there's no nothing there. Right? And then I just instantly die. It says kill Colt with a shotgun. I did. I did kill him. Now wait a minute. It claims I killed him. <laughs> it says I did actually kill him with that shotgun. So I got credit for it. And I actually leveled up a rank. Even though... Yeah, see, now what happened there? How does it say I killed him when I died? It doesn't make any... This shit doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my God. Carlton Jr. says, Another reason why I think matchmaking is slow. People that have beaten this game don't have any reason to go back and play as Colt, Colt ever again. You're right. You're absolutely right. If you've beaten it, the only other thing is do an alternate ending. But the thing is, you just do another run, which takes, what, an hour and a half? So... Right, it's not like you have to beat the whole game from start to finish again. Once you've gotten through the game legitimately once, I mean, yeah, I hear ya. Uh, I really don't want to go up close to him, but I might have to. I mean, I don't see him anymore. He's probably hiding back there. What the? Oh! Where the hell was he? I didn't see him at all. I didn't see him at all. But at least I got one kill. I did not see him. He must have been hiding well. You know, maybe he had the cloak too. Yup. Igor at night. Which again means there's booby traps everywhere. What the fuck? What happened? Yo, I just started. That's complete bullshit. So let me get this straight. I just appeared, and the game had Colt lined up with a sniper rifle on me and gets an insta-kill. Like, I had, like, no health. What was I supposed to do? Wow, that was really fun. And I leveled up, which is hilarious. Great, try again. That was so dumb. I freaking... I, I entered the world, immediately got sniped in my ass the moment I spawned. I turn around, there he is staring at me. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> wow, what a great what a great invasion mechanic, huh? I don't know, I don't see nothing. I have no clue where he is. And there's no indication, no one's no one's seen him. Right? With no indicator, like you can just sit here for an hour waiting for this fucking guy. Like, where is he, right? He could be taking a shit. You're absolutely right. He literally could have said, Oh, I need to take a break and walked into a corner and put his controller down like this and went and took an hour long shit. And you have no idea. <laughs> you actually have genuinely have no clue where he could be. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. He didn't die with all that. Seriously. He didn't die. I unloaded the auto shot into his body. He didn't die. Wow. Anyway. I may actually have access because when you have EA play... Whoa! No, I did kill him, actually. Look. Survived for five minutes. Killed him during an invasion. Killed him with the shotgun. Yeah, I did actually kill him. He must have died over time. Got him. One down. He didn't die? Seriously? I unloaded full auto into his body. Full auto into his body, he survived. Okay. Here. I don't think we're hitting the goals, guys. Again, this week has been slow as hell for tips, and it sucks because of the chargebacks. It would have been one thing if, like, there were no chargebacks earlier this week, 
But the chargebacks completely set me back so badly. It really sucks. Wolf's Paradox says, are you not cult anymore? No, we beat the game. This is the invasion mode. This is the invasion mode. Support children's entertainers. Han just became a channel, a channel supporter, and their icon is fucking ninja. <laughs> it's ninja. That's funny. Those are the landscapers. Very loud outside. We're at 292 members. The most we've ever had, guys. Thank you. Fucking ninja. Of course. <laughs> Wolf's Paradox says, You beat it. Was it fulfilling? Let me put it this way. The final run was entertaining. I had to do everything in one day, and there were constant invasions. At the very end, I had to kill three people at the party, and uh, Juliana was on my ass the whole time. And it was scary because she was trying to kill me multiple times, and I almost blew it twice. But then, I pulled it off. I did a headshot on Alexis, and I s escaped, and it was really epic. And then the ending was one of the worst endings I've ever seen. It was absolutely a cop-out, and I explained nothing about the game at all. It was a hilarious joke of an ending. Basically, a non-ending. So, you do all that work to pull off the perfect run and escape, and then that fucking ending is fake. Yeah. Yeah, and I already explained, no, I do not feel this is 10 out of 10 material in any way, shape, or form. There's not enough content. Most of the content's rehashed from other franchises Arcane has made. The game is full of bugs, which I kept running into over the course of the playthrough. The physics don't work properly a lot of the time. The jumps were malfunctioning. So it's like a million reasons why it's not a 10 out of 10. Seriously, even if I didn't care about the ending, and even if I didn't care about the reused assets, and that is so short, I still, with other issues, it can't be 10 out of 10 objectively, you know? Alright, my final invasion ever, and then I'm, I'm done with Deathloop. This is my final piece of Deathloop gameplay right now. Apparently, if you kill Col the Colt three times, you get a trophy. That's one of the trophies is to eliminate him and reset his loot. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Whoa, are you serious? Yo, I just appeared and the cult fucking took all my life. I don't even know where he is. There he is. Fuck, I gotta run. I have, like, no health, so I have to run. What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. No, really. This fucking game is stupid. It's a waste of fucking money. I'm deleting it. Fuck this. That is the dumbest gameplay ever. You gotta wait all that time to play it. As soon as you spawn, Colt sees you and snipes you. Okay, let me run off the rooftop. Oh, you broke your leg. You're dead. Fuck this game. It's fucking stupid. It's overpriced. There's no fucking way it's 10 out of 10. Any reviewer who said that is a fucking paid shill who doesn't deserve the time of day nor a job. This game is a fucking insanely overhyped fucking mess. It is not that good. It's fun if you like a certain style of stealth, if you like a certain style of investigation, but goddamn, that game is far from being 10 out of fucking 10, and anyone who said that is a liar. All right, guys, that is it for my playthrough of fucking Deathloop. I'm honestly glad it's over at this point. Thanks for watching. <laughs>